We live? Yes. Aha! Excellent. Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Altera, headquarters of the Mad Capitalist. I'm your host and games master for the evening, James Robertson, and joining me this evening, living La Vida Loca, Ben, playing Pizzazz, the Gnome Wizard. Yep. Living on a prayer, Bob plays as Lanwar, the nearly deceased Firbolg Druid. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wanted, dead or alive, Neil as Dion, the half-orc ranger. Hey. And the Black Angel's death song, TR, playing as Glack, the kobold cleric. Hello, hello. Last time, the party extracted themselves rather wonderfully from a fight with a few bodaks by use of a reversal of gravity before escaping into a small, cosy room. They claimed a bottle of neurotoxin antidote, but didn't drink it for some unknown reason. Perhaps they thought it was poison or a trap. I don't know. Then they headed out, their time dangerously short before the toxin irreversibly changed them. After stumbling into the undead Garistro, they ran off, falling into a trash heap where they met a friendly Otiog and a raccoon who'd been awakened by Lanwar's erstwhile ally, Willow, before the beginning of her descent into madness. With the help of their new friends, the party escaped the trash heap and headed to the centre of the maze, where a door awaited. Ooh. They unlocked and pushed it open, inadvertently triggering the trap behind it, a chain lightning spell. As the room came into view, their enemy struck. An enormous arrow embedded itself in Lanwar's chest, and as he crumpled to the floor, the undead Garistro rounded the corner, intent on vengeance. And this is where we pick up for surely the conclusion of Dion's date with destiny. As uh, I'm going to get you all, I think, to click on your tokens here on the new page. And roll, let's roll some initiative. Hey, okay, why have I been grayed? Uh, because you're dying. Uh, I and can't also... actually click on my person. <laughs> oh? Nope. That is strange. <laughs> Probably apt. Mm -hmm. Oh, this guy can't even see me. You're next to me. Steel's not actually there. Uh, no. I can, no, I can see Steel. The other what? side. Do you maybe want to zoom out then? You're uh, here. Uh, found me. <laughs> there you go, Glack. Just um, just click some initiative then. Okay. It's that one there. It's it's the green guy. Yeah. That where Steel was. Ha <laughs> ha. Twenty six. <laughs> well. <laughs> Of course, of course you roll that. <laughs> okay, is that everyone? Um, mm -hmm. Steel goes after you, right, Pizzazz? Uh Steel is Tink's punch truck, so she's not there. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, doke. We did use that for traversing. Uh -huh. Right. We, we, we tend gonna... to use it to represent the whole party on like smaller maps. And he has advantage. Okay. Hey, how come you get all the fancy loot? Because he's using an NPC uh, thing. Hmm. NPC so, sheet. amazingly enough, as we enter this, this turn order, Glack, you have seen this surprise coming um, because of your dagger. And you were back there because you were last through the door. As it struck Lanwar in the centre of the chest, and from, well, maybe not full health, but certainly he was, he was up there. He just crumpled to the ground, and a steady pool of blood is now beginning to seep from his, his body. He looks very, very bad. Uh, as, you, as you look around the room, uh, the area that's illuminated, you can see... And there are sort of almost strategically placed lamps uh, around the room that are lighting up 
uh, each square is is ten foot. Um, there would be a small lamp there as well, uh, and you can make out and you can make out the so the doors behind you. The garistro is on the other side, still battered and beaten and bloodied from your previous encounters with it, but it seems to be after uh, Dion, who it believes uh, it said last week killed it, and it seems to be uh, a revenant of some description for that reason. Yeah. And the doors are open? The doors are still open. They are unable to be closed. It's like uh, the lightning sort of fused them to the ground in the open position. And by any means, they were far too heavy for any of you to open. Uh, you can make out a balcony. That's what's uh, the brown part up here. There are crates, there are boxes, barrels, all stacked around the place. Um, mm. What's your dark vision distance? Uh, da -da. It is 60 feet. 60 feet, uh, yes. Yeah, so you can make out to uh, pretty much the middle of the darkness then. You don't know where that arrow came from, but you can assume uh, wherever it was, it won good. How far away is the uh, Galistro, the min Minotaur? It is... It's probably going to be here next turn. That's a point, actually. I need to roll for it. Initiative. And I love how you say, it thinks Dion killed it. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> I do not know what you mean. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, so it will be here next turn. It has used its action this turn to run up behind you. Okay, then I'm going to hold... Mm, yeah, I'm going to hold a clerical thing until it gets within 30 feet of me by okay. the door. So you're standing by the door. In I'm waiting by the view. door. Are you dodging? Are you uh, just in clear view of the door? I don't think I can dodge and hold something, can I? Um, as a bonus action, if you're a monk, yeah, you can dodge. Then dodge I will. <laughs> okay, so you key point dodge, and then you just begin holding a cleric spell. Good yeah. turn. And I still, um, don't have, I still can't control my little person. Why not? That's annoying. You should be able to. That's the one that was linked to your character. Ah, ah, okay. I see. Just give me a second. <laughs> yeah. Goodness sake. This fight brought to you by... <laughs> brought to you not by Dwarven Forge. <laughs> no, instead brought to you by... These lovely fellows here. <laughs> uh, try try that now, Glack. Yeah, I can move him now. Cool. Great. Cool. Um, yes, excellent. Um, so the Garistro uses its turn to, to rush. As I mentioned, it's now Ziraj, the hunter. Um, and he does something that you don't know. Dion, it's you. You know your enemy is up in that darkness somewhere. What do you do? Well, I'm gonna drink my greater healing potion. Okay, yeah, that's your action. Do you duck behind anywhere before you, before you do it? I'll uh, dive behind the crates on the left. Excellent. Yeah. Okie doke. Um, so you're back there. Just roll the healing uh, as normal. And that will be your action. Any bonus actions? Like spells you want to cast or anything? No. Cool. Bzzzaz. All right. Um... Lanmar has just collapsed in front of you under mm -hmm. a single I, I arrow. As I was handing him scrolls of healing for me. Yes, as as he was healing uh, people, in fact. The the healer was taken down, unsurprisingly. Yeah, this is going to be like, ah, oh, fuck. Um, and then use one of the scrolls of cure wounds to uh, try 
bring him back up. Yeah, amazing. The killings, that's what I can't remember. The first level is it one D eight plus it, mod? Yeah, it's a it's a D eight plus your plus your spell casting mod. Anything for bonuses? Uh I can't do any bonus things. Cool. Then it will be Lanwar as soon as you're up. Uh, you've been healed uh, um, uh, by a sundry amount. Neil, did you say it was a greater? Oh, no. That's uh, just... Yeah, greater. Oh, I, cool. I'm looking Add at four mines. to that, by the way. Add yes, four to D8, that, by the way. D8 plus five. Okay. Uh, uh, so Lanwar, fours. So Lanwar you are back. Three. Yeah. Lanwar, you are back. Conscious on seven hit points. Bazaz. Rushing, I assume, to get behind cover. Yes. Right. Uh, run over to Dion. Um, can I use my object interaction to pass Dion the potion of arrow resistance? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. You just sort of pop it in his bandit. I imagine everyone has like a bandolier of potions because mm-hmm. they're like small vials. Yeah, you just sort of slip that. Um, Oh, it's a scroll, isn't it? It was the scroll. Is of... it a scroll? I thought it was a potion. No, I, I think it was a scroll that you... Um, hmm. I, I honestly can't remember. If you've got it written down as a potion, we'll say it was a potion. Uh, either way, it takes an action to, to use uh-huh. anyway. Um, but Lanwar. Cheers. Uh... feet so i uh, will move to I think bind the barrels and i okay. will expend five charges to cast mass cure wounds okay good well done so uh, everyone gains 20 health back <clears throat> uh, are you using your bonus action um Hidden step or um, hidden paths or I, uh, your your dream druid stuff. I am not using hidden paths. I feeling that hell of a attack. I'm going to use my bonus action to. Uh, uh, and cast Bam of Summer Court and yep. heal my, cool. myself a bit more. Excellent. So you do that while Black the Garistro got within 30 feet um, on its last turn. It is going to barrel through the doors on this turn. So uh, okay. your held action would go off before your action. Okay, then that's turn undead. Ah, excellent. What? Is the DC a wisdom yet? save in sixteen? A wisdom save. Yeah, okay. it's not the highest, but I assume an undead Glistro maybe doesn't have the highest wisdom. I'm afraid that does make it plus seven wisdom. It's a Garistro. <laughs> yeah, but you know he's half rotted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, even the natural roll still made it. Where's our, where's our braggadocious for the cutting words? <laughs> He's been missing for a year. Uh, but Glack, uh, that your held action goes off, you do have another turn uh, right now, right before you... Uh, yeah, well, it's your turn. Uh, no yep. more arrows have flown at you in the last few seconds. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm going to leg it over to here and hide behind these things. <laughs> because I only have one turn undead and I thought that could have saved us a lot of trouble. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, and I'm going to pop out my arms and mask for the arms of the astral self as well. Cool. Uh, is that an action to do that? Uh, bones. Uh, what's your action? Um, the the walls, by the way, here, the walls, by the way, are 40 foot high, so you could run up and get on the balcony and hide behind the edge of the balcony. Give you oh, three, three yeah, quarters 40 foot up, then I will. Okay. Uh, um, do I have an action I want to spend? At each square, remember, everyone is, is 10 foot. 10 foot, okay. Yeah. 
I'm going to hand wave Tink's last turn because that was needed. No, I, I can't oh. see anybody. So, oh, but my yeah. dog vision goes out to 120 feet now. Ha! So in this dark space, uh, you and you alone can see 60 feet. So everyone else, just ignore. <laughs> uh, because there is a, a perpetual darkness cast over it. So you would see down to about there. Uh, there are okay. yet more crates. It looks like, uh, as I mentioned last week, uh, very sort of stony. It looks like it's built throughout the maze, but is uh, reminiscent of a warehouse or some sort of fun house um, that has clearly been designed uh, well, so that you, you have to make your way through it to get to whoever's shooting at you. Um, but yeah, you sort of you duck down behind the banister and you have three quarters cover. It's the undead Garistro who charges in through the doors and uh, it, it was just charging, so it's going to run its full speed of 40 uh, and it was 30 back, so yes, it gets in the doors now. Um, it's going to look around, it needs to roll perception. Uh, yes, and spots Dion. Points, points at Dion and says... You, you killed me. No, I did gonna, no such thing. And it's going to use its action to dash towards you. 10, 20, 30. Uh, and it gets to there. That's its turn. Ziraj, Ziraj the Hunter uh, holds another thing. Dion, it's yourself. Hey. I will attack my dear friend. Your dear friend? <laughs> yeah, the Garistro. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, what are you attacking it with? And uh, it's... My bow. Okay, uh, do you have disadvantage since you're within five feet of it? Uh, I don't think so. If, if it's a ranged range. weapon and you don't have a feat like, uh, like Tink does, you have disadvantage on attacking it. That's uh, why well, you, could, you could disengage and just run. Um, but first off, roll me an intelligence check. In Please. Intelligence. That one. Um, oh Jesus! This thing looks like it's here to kill you, Dion, and uh, you don't know what to do with that information. Uh, but it is your turn. What are you doing? Pizzazz, you're on deck. Uh huh. Dion. As instincts kicks in, I fire at uh, um. All right, okay. Roll uh, with disadvantage. Two attacks. That's going to miss. And... Oh, that's going to hit. So it does take the damage. Only takes ten damage since it wasn't hunter's marked. Cool, uh, and that's your turn. Uh, do you want to move away from it, or just sort of stand your ground there? Yeah, I'll move a uh, few feet away. Okay. Well, it is gonna, it is gonna swing at you then. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, it's probably gonna. It's. I would. Uh, yeah, I would say it's gonna kick you. So. Yeah, it's got. Ooh, attack. It's going to kick you in the face. 21 to hit. Uh, ooh. Oh, are you, are you wondering if that hits? It just hits. It just hits? Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Um, so take... Uh, Oh god, that's a lot of damage. Take 33 points of damage. And you are kicked 20 feet away. 
Pat, so kicked in the tink. <laughs> or Pat. Uh, more like more like kicked over tink. Uh... <laughs> tink tink I'm, 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 I'm pizzazz, not tink. Sorry. Pizzazz. Yeah, that was God damn it, Bob. <laughs> you said it first. You said roll it. a deck save. But pizzazz roll a deck save. Yeah, you, you duck. Yeah, you duck down. Dion goes flying over your head and lands prone behind you. Mm-hmm. Uh, but does hit the uh, the wall there. Um, and it is your turn. Uh, this uh, undead Garistro has charged at you. Uh, why don't you roll me an intelligence check since you're much more intelligent than, than your ranger mm-hmm. friend there. <laughs> this thing is definitely <laughs> here to kill Dion. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> what is it with looking at this and going, huh? <laughs> it's here to kill you all, in fact. Uh, it's your turn, though. Yeah. <clears throat> um, in that case, I'm going to cast Immolation on it. Immolation? Okay, mm-hmm. so that, that's a deck save from it, right? That is a 17 deck save, yeah. Okay. Ah, so it just makes it, I'm afraid. Okay, so it takes half damage, I think. Let me just double check. Half as much on the front. Success. Does it take all 48 of that? Uh, no, the secondary is um, if it fails. Ah, okay. So it does take the... Uh... Oh, it's, it's exactly half. Look at that. Um, yes, it takes the full 16, you notice. It's uh, it's sort of fiery life force having having gone when it uh, when it became an undead. Uh, and you are you moving away from it? Are you just sort of staying there? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm running. Okay, where to? And uh, do um... you use your object interaction to help Dion up as you go? I'll, I'll allow that. Yeah, I'll u- use my object interaction and get around the corner and help him up. Mm-hmm. Kind of try pull him behind the thing as well. Uh, you've got another. <laughs> you've got another ten feet. I've only got another five. I'm a. Uh, uh, I'm a non. No, don't forget, I've only got twenty-five movement. Ah, uh, all right. Mm. Okay, Lanwar. I would like a wisdom saving throw from the Garistro. Okay, so we're going for the Garistro then. That's interesting. Uh, unless you want me to make an intelligent thing as well. I mean, yeah, yeah, go for it. <laughs> to, to determine where I actually should go for the Garistro. Oh, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Go for it. Uh, okay. See if, see if it's another crit one. <laughs> oh, my God. So it's this uh, intelligent. Saving just an or... intelligence check. Just check. Check. All right. So just ah, wait. Why is it that one? Okay. Um, it's above ten. So <laughs> <laughs> the arrow sticking out of its uh, the base of its skull is identical to the one, st- and it, it's a <laughs> it's it's a kill shot. It's identical to the one that's sticking. Out of your um, chest. Okay, then I will not do what I was going to do. Uh, it seems to be some sort of revenant. Uh, those are the two facts you get with a 10, uh, with above 10. Uh, Mr. Grisho, I believe the arrow that's sticking out of me is the thing that's sticking out of you. And uh, wasn't from Dion's bow. Language are you saying this in? Uh... What languages <laughs> can I say it in? <laughs> uh, I don't know. What languages do you, know? do you have? If you're yeah. speaking with this show earlier. Uh, common dr- Druidic, Dwarvish, Elvish, Giant. Which one do you want to try? I will <laughs> try Common. <laughs> okay. Make, um, make a persuasion check. This would be at disadvantage since it's not a language it understands. Okay. 
Craft. Vision. I'll roll this twice because can't get. <clears throat> okay, so a 13. It seems to look at you and then tries to twist its head round to the back of its own head, but can't. Uh, it seems confused. It does not hurt itself in its confusion. Uh, can I use my action to go and pull the arrow out and show it? Oh, God. I mean, yes. It would be like a grapple check to to grab on, and then probably a strength check to rip it out. It's it's a massive arrow. It's about the length of your arm. Yeah, Just look that's... at your chest. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, this is a little worrying having this big arrow sticking out of me. I mean, uh, you can you can easily pull your own one out. Hmm. Uh, it's just climbing up a garistro, which is a large creature, and then yanking an arrow out of the back of its its skull. It's not. Yeah, easy. but the but size you can, of Lanwar? Like as as the good man says, you can certainly try. I will try. All right, roll me uh, an athletics or acrobatics check. Uh, First off, to just try and get up to the arrow. Acrobatics. Okay, uh, that's high enough. You managed to sort of leap up using the boxes as a springboard. Um, this thing's kind of hunched, which made it a bit easier. If it was an actual Garistro, the DC would have been higher. Uh, so go ahead and roll me just a straight strength check, or are you trying to buff yourself in any way? Are you using like a like any sort of tool that might help you yank this thing out? Uh, let me have a look for my equipment, see if I've got anything that's gonna help, because this well, isn't gonna go well. Me trying to pull this damn thing out. Well, this will be this will or... be this will be your turn anyway. But so we'll we'll come back to it, Glack. Uh, while you're looking up your um your tools, Glack, what what are you what are you getting up to? You're your party seem to be concerned with fighting the Garistro. You yourself can hear faint chuckling off in the distance. Well, then what I am going to do is going to throw up a little bit of this over me when I'm still hidden. A bit of uh -huh. dust of disappearance. I see. So I have uh -huh. six, six minutes of invisibility. Or until I punch something. Yes. Then I'm going to use a spell. Yeah. Uh, then no... I'm going to use a key point to step of the wind and run a hundred feet down. So to... I have no 16, equipment. 17, 18, 90. So I will be around there. All right. So I will get. And you can see for sixty feet because you have a superior dart room. Yep. I'm just going to have to straight up try yeah, and so pull it. Uh, have you not got? A knife in your leg. Yeah, but it, for it's, um, twenty for Glack. Yeah, uh, yes, sixty on the ten foot thingy. Yeah, the oh. darkness is is very oppressive. Oh, yeah. Also, it's that. Yeah. I don't have a dagger. I'm not thingy. I'm not. Uh, have you not even got a knife for eating? You've got a good grip of it. But um, it will take a bit longer to to yank it out. But However, he at least it's, has it's, me it's, on him going. Ah, yeah, ah. it's 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 turn now. It's going to um, like it momentarily leaves Dion alone. Momentarily, actually, we'll see which thing it cares more about. So odds, um, hmm, fif fifteen or below, it goes for Bob. Sixteen or higher. Okay, so it goes for Bob, or Lanwar, rather. Um, so it's going to reach around first and foremost and try and yank you off. Uh, so it's got a plus 13. So roll me a grapple check. So I'm um, contesting it with athletics or acrobatics? Uh, yes. All right. <laughs> He's going to get me either way. <laughs> it yanks you so hard off. Um, roll, me, roll me another strength check 
to try and maintain grip on the arrow. Because that uh... roll is... My roll is high enough that it might... <laughs> It it partially dislodges it. You get a splinter. And it does no damage. It does no damage, but it hurts like like hell. Uh, we'll say it takes uh, five points of damage as the R rattles around in its spinal column. Um, and it roars in pain. And then it's gonna it's gonna huck you about twenty. F- it's I tell you what it's gonna do. It's gonna drop goal kick. <laughs> uh, it's gonna turn away. Oh, puny. God. It's gonna turn away and point to point you towards these boxes. Guess what? Guess guess what's the worst thing about this is I just gave up a portion of fucking strength to the fucking little shitty thing that you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh. I can't believe. Well, if if you're having trouble, you can always try and summon them. Um, <laughs> that's only an eighteen to try and kick you. Does that does that hit? Uh. Yeah, 18 hits. All right, so you're going to take 22 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And you're going to fly 30 foot back. Uh, Luckily, that's both its uh, attack actions, and it's going to look back around at Dion and say in Abyssal, You killed me! And charge towards it again. Um, Zaraj, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna hide first. Which he just succeeds on because he's got plus, he rolls a natural 26 because he's a rogue. Um, and he's going to hold action to fire. Someone gets close enough. Dion, the kill stealer. Um, the undead Garistro has just charged at you again, sir. It, with anger and vengeance and fury in its eyes. There have been no arrows uh, cascading on your party in the last... 10, 15 seconds. I will, I will attempt to attack him again. <clears throat> okay, so you're not going to run? Okay, that's your choice. Go for it. Two shots, disadvantage. I love how I've tried to convince the Gristro. <laughs> and everyone is just like, nope, kill it gonna hit it takes seven damage it's still looking fine and dandy it does not yet look bloody i'll attack again yep, go for it okay it takes 13 damage it still looks fine um if anything this ju- this does convince it more uh that you are it's it's entirely it's totally its enemy and it roars in pain and annoyance. Uh, it's just self-defense. It has not yet attacked you. Pizzazz. No. Um. Right. Actually, that would be revealed as well. I can't dimension door because with Dion because he's a size larger than me. You can go by yourself, though. <laughs> mm. Or I will I will allow you to do what has been uh, done before and create a portal and push him through it. But it will take an arcana check. Mm. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Um so you conjure a portal, what sort of yeah, is it like a is it like a hole in the ground or is it just like a yeah, shimmering Doctor Strange a, style portal behind him that you just go eh, get? It's going to be a hole in the ground and he's just going to drop through it and then appear. Uh, yeah, where where exactly do you want him to appear? Uh, let's make him let's make him appear about down here because I don't know 
what's down there at the moment. Down there? Yeah, that there. Okay. Um, then Dion, you would see yeah, in the darkness. And then run. Uh, yeah, you, you do so. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you just you just peg it. Um, and you manage to actually get around the corner there. Um, technically. Cool. Um, Lanwar, it's yourself. It's me? Yes. <laughs> it's me, the Lanwar. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It is you, the Lanwar. Okay. Uh, and the, the Garistro roars in just complete abject fury, by the way. Uh... Um... It smells blood, though it's going to hunt its prey, because that's what I reckon it does. Hmm. Lanwar. Well, I tried. Uh... God, I don't know what I can do here other than... Pizaz is going to shout, it's undead, do something holy on it. You could run and hide, if you wish. You could get to there and hide. I will. Move. You have anything that'll do radiant damage? Yeah. I'll move to here, and I will ask you for a wisdom saving throw from the Gristra. All right. As I told the dead. Told the dead. Necrotic damage. Nineteen. It makes it a do nothing. All right. Where are you running to? I've moved. <laughs> I've moved behind the barrels. I'm like, you were you were already behind the barrels. No, I was, yeah, no, the boxes. I, was, I was over there. I moved to the barrels so now. Okay. Uh, so you, you, know, you can still you can still use the rest of your movement. Yeah. Uh, you could run you could run there and get closer to where the arrows are coming from. Uh but Glack, uh, it is your turn. You are you're pretty high uh, perception, right? Uh no. No? That's the uh, I've piece. got a fifteen. Uh, it's not trash, but it's can, not great. You can you can hear what you're fairly certain is the knock of another arrow. Okay, but I'm, but nothing. It's like a it's like a breeze. I'm going to move up to stand on this. Okay. Box. Um, as you get to there, being still invisible. Mm -hmm. You are still invisible, however, uh, that doesn't stop the aura effect from happening. Which is which is this this whole aura thing here. I don't know if you can see it. I cannot. Alright, well that's good for me then. <laughs> um just open his character sheet, that's annoying. Uh yes, so uh, it extends to 10 feet from you, not behind tall cover. Ah, that's only when someone's frightened of you. Okay. Um, but you are invisible, so it doesn't see you. Interesting. Okay. Oh, but yeah, it's, see... it's your, it, you can see, you can make out a lean, very muscular, quite tall form, um, grayish skin, uh, with like streaks of black and sort of urban camel painted on the face. Uh, roll me a nature check, please. Okay. Thank you. With advantage, because you're similarly annoyed. It's definitely a humanoid. And uh, they're pointing the 15. arrow. Yeah, they're pointing the their bow at this sort of alleyway, expecting you to come down it. Uh, yeah. They know you're invisible, so they're going to fire off a shot with disadvantage because they can still hear you. You didn't roll stealth. You you were running down that corridor. Yes. Um, but you are fairly certain that behind the sort of veneer uh, of like just death that emanates from this, this creature it is a half orc. Just to let you know, I'm only two and a half foot high in case I get some coverage from these things. Um, yes, they're 
fairly high stacked. So add plus five to your. Uh, we'll give you three quarters cover. So add plus five to your. Uh, what should I call it? AC um, as yeah. a, as uh, Zaraj fires his death bow. But with disadvantage, that's a nat one. <laughs> oh. Um, as you just, yeah, it's a plus a lot bow. Um, as it just fires into the wall directly above your head, and you can see it emanating this unholy bl- darkness. Um, it reminds you a lot of the uh, oh shit, I forget his name, but the Hezlord's champion, Liam Rue. That's what it was. Oh, it reminds yeah. you a lot of the sort of necrotic damage that Liam Rue's magic uh, emanated from. Uh, and you get the sense that this creature, whatever it is, might also be a demonoid. Um, but you hear a mutter. My slippery one. Hmm? No matter. It's your turn. Okay, I am... Um... Let's get sneaky I'm... time. Just going to take the I've used up my movement. I'm just going to take the dodge action while I'm here. You could hide. You could go stealth. Oh, actually. Yeah, yeah. Let me try and... Yeah, real stealth. So you just sort of duck behind those boxes. So that'll give you advantage hitting him. And he also won't know where you are. Okay, and I've got advantage because the boots of Elven Klein. So that's a natural 20 for that. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, with that 30, you just... With your invisibility, you slip in behind these boxes... And you reckon, uh, as he turns, as he sort of mm, mutters, grits his teeth and turns back towards where he seems to be viewing the Minotaur with some surprise and a little bit of amusement. Uh, He sort of turns and views, and he also heads, because he wants to be in better, better sight lines, so he moves over there. So he sort of moves out of your vision. Uh, but you actually oh no you can't see Dion because there's a stack of crates there but yeah you are you're fairly well hidden but I'm going to say over the earpiece is is on the top balcony (laughs) do you see anything else just that he's up there over (laughs) yeah over sorry (laughs) over (laughs) Uh, (laughs) it's the undead (laughs) skinny half orc uh, it's the undead Garistro. It's gonna. Hmm, it's in a rage. What's it gonna do? I'll roll an intelligence check. It's got minus three to these. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna just trump forward and start destroying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm-hmm. It's looking for. Uh, for Dion. Pizzazz, you can make it out. Just barely down there. Okay. Uh, but no one else can, well, except for Zaraj. Uh, Zaraj the hunter uh, cocks another arrow, uh, goes into the his stealth position. He, I'm just going to use his minimum of 26 because of reliable talent. And he cocks another arrow. And he seems to be waiting. Um, Glack. Before um, before he sort of went into stealth, you could see him lining up his shot on uh, Dion. Dion, it's yourself. Okay. Uh... You you hear the Garistro uh, over to your right, uh, behind that stack of boxes. It seems to be looking for you. What are you doing? I'm you don't gonna... know where this guy is. But you have heard the ping of an arrow up here as it embedded in the wall. That was an unmistakable sound. I'm going to move over uh, the boxes and barrels. Up to here? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'll move it in. Yeah. Uh, anything else? You want to take a potion, read a scroll? 
Anything? Just don't do anything with your dodge. action. You dodge? Okay. Yeah. You do have that potion of um, missile deflection, essentially. Where you uh, take how does that damage. work? Sorry. So you would drink it oh. and you would take half damage from ranged attacks, which this guy seems to be doing plenty Is of. Is that limited or... No. You would just take half damage from ranged attacks, like a potion of fire resistance would give you resistance to fire damage. I get less about an hour. Yeah. Uh, so, I'll drink yeah. that then. All right. Go for it. Uh, pizzazz. Uh, the Minotaur, the Gristro, charged right past you. It doesn't seem to know where you are. You being so small. SMOL. Cool. Um, in that case, I will misty step 30 feet towards where I bamfed Dion and then move the rest of the way once I get there. So that would be... You appear there. Yeah. And then... I... You, could climb mm. up, you could climb up these boxes easily enough, but that might be noisy if you, if you fail. Yeah. And the Gristro is, you can see now, right there. Okay. Oh, that's not it. Reveal areas. Nope. That the reverse good. of what I wanted to do. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I thought Pizazz was able to hide better there. Mm. It's dark there. Gristro can't see. <laughs> All right. Uh, Pizazz. Let, let's move around to here. Okay. That's cool. Um. Any actions? Do you want to dodge or... Um, yeah, let, let's hide. So I'm rolling yourself on that? Uh, yes, please. Roll stealth. With my zero modifier. Okay. Uh, you don't know if the Garistro heard that. Um, but Lanwar, it's you. Uh, the rest of your party have, have surged forward. You yourself are left at the back of the party. I... Uh, beaten, bloodied, bruised, um, dying. Who knows? I'll use hidden paths to put me where Pizzazz is. Okay. Uh, what's, the, what's the range on that? What's the limit? It's 60 feet. Um, so that barrel is... Pretty small, by the way. Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm and also gonna sixty be, feet is there. I'm basically gonna be moving another thirty across towards where Dion is, anyway. So okay. It was just basically quick movement. Uh, okay. Yeah, you rush yeah. over there and you duck down behind the barrels. And my action will be to cast. Conjure Fae. Conjure Fae. All right. A giant mammoth appears 90 feet in front of me, which will probably... Uh, is there, is it nine squares away from me to be up on, on the balcony? One, uh, one two, three, four. Yep. Six. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I want you to roll me a d20, please. D20. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. This is gonna. As you feel a stabbing pain Again, in your with, uh, in your head, with messing um, with can, my magic, <laughs> you can you can inspire it after the fact if you think that's not going to be high enough. By the way, uh, oh my god! Can you imagine if you, if you summon a giant shark? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Just flapping around on. I. Oh, you, if I hear a giant shark up there, I'm going to murder you, you stupid archer! As you summon, not Dion, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not the as one. you, as you don't quite get a mammoth, 
Uh, <laughs> but you do get a giant crocodile or an elephant. I will let you decide. I'll because go for the elephant. You go for the elephant. Okay, <laughs> and you summon it ninety feet yeah. ahead of you. Yeah, so it would be basically up here. T ninety. Yeah, it would appear here. All right. Um, I I don't have an elephant mini on hand. I'm just going to reveal the rest of the map here. So, um, as I as I place an elephant mini, <clears throat> bear with me, folks at home. I need to find elephant stats now instead of the mammoth stats. Familiars um, and summons. Here we go. I mean, there's no elephant, but there's a dire badger. Dire badger? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, something to represent it, that's fine. As long as you know that it's meant to be the An elephant. elephant. Yeah. Although it looks like a duckbill platypus. There you go. You can control that now. Okay. Uh, need to find that. Uh, and it acts immediately after you. Yeah. Uh, just just Google elephant five e roll twenty, and it should come up with the stats for it. I'm trying to. Right, I got the elephant. The R four. Yep. Come on, give me the stats. Uh, it has... We can come back to you if you if you wish. It's got forty feet of movement. Can it get to him? Um. Yes, it can actually. Ah, uh, well, it'll gore attack him then. All right. Okay. <laughs> Trampling charge. Elephant moves twenty feet. Uh, straight forward to a creature that. Ah, uh, uh, straight forward. Uh, oh, no, actually, you know what? Yeah, well, it's it's moving diagonally. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Do you want what it says? Uh, no, just just roll the attack, and because then it... tell me what it what happens. Uh, because <laughs> this is part of it moving forward. Yeah, go for it. It does that, <laughs> and the the gore attack is. Uh... Okay, strength save. Plus... Plus D eight. Oh plus eight. Oh. Uh wasn't with disadvantage, but it's a thirty one. Uh go so plus eight. Uh to hit. Twenty four. Yeah. yeah. Uh tw twenty four does hit, yeah. That's uh Thanks. <clears throat> Oh no! Oh, that's this is so sad. I just realized something. What? Because because all those turns of Raj was preparing for you, he got to cast some spells. Well, right. his, his temp hit points are gone. Um, and he takes two extras. The elephant takes. Uh. Minus two. Uh, the elephant takes 15 points of cold damage as uh, Zaraj's armor of Agathis just shatters and splinters uh, into the elephant's sight, just tearing great chunks of uh, flesh from don't, it. Don't, uh, think what... a... <laughs> don't think it's great chunks, considering it's still got quite a lot of health. Uh, what's its health, please? Uh, 76. Currently? Yes. Well, no, that's oh. its max... So, uh, minus 15. Minus 15. Yeah, if you want to just keep track of that, uh, since you can see the green tab there in the middle of its... If you just click on it. Uh, okay. And I've put its movement there as well. Okay. So, 61. Um, okay, so uh, Zaraj is, is... Hmm, interesting. I did not anticipate this. Well, I shall have another beast's head for my wall. Glack, it's your turn. I'll have okay. your damn head. <laughs> you you didn't hear that. Glack. 
from my hidden position, I'm going to try and hit him with a guiding bolt. Okay. You're, yeah. You're can you can you see him? Uh, it'd be double. So you're saying that with yeah. my perception? <laughs> uh, yeah. So roll roll an attack with advantage. Okay. Let's see if this works. Ah, twenty one's okay. Twenty one just hits. Doesn't have a massive AC. This guy. Uh, and 15 radiant damage, and the next attack against him has advantage. And that's radiant. Oh, shit. So you watch yep. as he screams in pain. How dare you? Um, what did you do? Radiant, <laughs> for the... radiant damage. <laughs> oh, I have a present for him, then. Uh, however... Oh, I think I know where it can be. Um, you do take... Five points of psychic damage uh, as okay. his scornful rebuke kicks in. Oh, also the elephant would have taken that in addition to the... So how much damage? There we go. That's, right, it's fine. It's five, just five. Equal to his charisma mod. Um, it's the undead Garistro, and he's uh, no fool. Can I... I'm just going oh, yeah. to yeah, go for it. over the stairs and just hide down the stairs a bit so I've got some cover. <laughs> Undead Garistro is no fool, so it's going to charge up the stairs. Oh, I now get it. Because he's a half orc it and he's a sees, half orc. And it sees Zaraj. Zaraj now looking. Well, he still looks cool, um, like under this pressure, but he's a little alarmed now that he's surrounded by two enormous creatures. As the undead Garistro points its giant rotted hand at Zaraj and says, You! You killed me! Um, that's its turn, though, to dash. Zaraj chuckles and goes, <laughs> Yes, I did. And now, prepare to die again. As he points his... His... Uh, where is it? His death bow. Uh, he does not get sneak attack damage, however, he does get a lot, so 25 is the first strike. Uh, 19 does hit, and the second... 26 for 24, so 49 points of damage against the Undead Gristro. Um, and he's going to throw one of his... Uh, second level smites on there as well for an extra 14 damage. Bada boom. Hmm. You're beefier than I remember, my friend. You killed me. Hmm. Yes, I suppose I did. Would you hold that against me? Uh, Dion, the kill stealer. Um... You hear the sounds of combat coming from up the stairs now. But not what was said. But not what was said, no. Uh, you, you would have heard the Garistro shout, you killed me again, because it does that a lot as a revenant. It's now looking bloodied, though, by the way. Parts of it are just sloughing off. The Garistro. The Garistro, yeah. All right. I will attack Zaraj. You can't see him. Oh, right, I can't see him, sorry. No. Only Glack knew where he was. Oh, okay. I know where he is, too. Because of the no. elephant. Um, well, you can make a vague guess. Know, he's, in, roughly. he's in this general area. Well, he's glowing a bit for now. <laughs> Only slightly, though. Well, what are you doing, Dion? Come on. I'm going to move up to the stairs. All right. Pen 20, 30. Get to there. Uh, you see Glack ahead of you. He's just sort of crouched down with his, with his little stick. 
uh, chortling to himself. He's just around the corner on the other side. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> Mud. Uh, look for the elephant. He's by there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just dashing up? Uh, yeah. All right, so you get another 10, 20, 30 feet, so you get to the top of the stairs pretty much. Uh, Pizzazz, you hear an almighty ruckus coming from above. Uh, mm-hmm. But before before you get to act, at the end of Dion's turn, he says, oh, now this is getting unfair. And he snaps his fingers. And suddenly from out of the wall, a grasping vine is conjured, and it's going to probably go for... I mean, I'll roll one, two, three, four. I'll roll a d6. Uh, the Gristros one, Elephants two, Dion three, Black four, Landmore five, Pizzazz six. So a six, <laughs> Pizzazz, sadly. It grasps you. It just uh, comes out of the ground, out of these crates and boxes. Um, just a grasping vine. So roll me a dexterity saving throw, please. Nope. Uh, yeah, you are... Grapple? I think so. Grasping the volume, yeah. It doesn't say. Uh, Pulled 20 feet towards the vine. If the vines are right there, he's not gonna... Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll say they're there, then. Why not? So you get yanked backwards. Yeah. Uh, but it is your turn. It doesn't appear to grapple. Mm. According to my, my book here. So it's your turn. You're just yanked slightly further away. It's an inconvenience at most. What do you get up to? I am... Um... I want to get up to next Dion, so I can cast haste on him, but I'm too far away. Uh, <clears throat> oh, Dion's sixty away from us. I, get... from hmm? uh, I can't get me. I mean, even if Pizzazz got to me, I can't get him close enough because it cuts my my path is cut in half when I take someone with me. Hmm. Yeah, but could, like, Pizzazz not come up to you and you can launch Pizzazz? <laughs> I mean... How strong do you think I am? <laughs> not very, apparently. Uh, but Pizzazz, <laughs> yes, it is you. As you just debate running up to Lanwar mm-hmm. and going, hmm, no, I probably, I probably can't push him through a portal. No, I'm, um... You do have all those spell scrolls you managed to snag from that, that oh, uh, raccoon. Yeah. What was I again? It was a storm sphere. In there, I think. What would you like to do? Just as I'm just looking at... I've got that big spell scroll, so I'm just... Landmore, you're on deck, by the way. Okay. So think about what you're going to do before your turn. I have an idea. Oh, cool. 150 feet, so that'll get up. Remember, this is still in darkness, so you can't really Mm -hmm. make out anything beyond 30 feet. Um, I'm gonna have to fire a dimension door at fifth level because I've run out of fourth. Where are you heading to? Um, Just, uh, you know, there's a balcony there. Uh, yeah, I'll allow you to sort of get in the middle of it. I want to get up to let's say here. All right, yeah, cool. 
Yeah, you get there. And then just move I'm into awkwardly the against the banister. Yeah, yeah, you have three quarters cover because uh, you're a small race behind mm. these banisters. Um, um, anything else? That would be my turn. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, so that would be my turn because that's an action. Cool. Lanmore. All right, would the head and pass get me beside Glack or Dion where, from where I am? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It would get you to there. Mm. Uh, well, I'll use Hidden Pass to get to there. Uh, and then I will use my movement to uh, move close enough to be able to see him. So well, that's uh, from here, 10. 20. Yeah, that's there. fine. 10, 20, there. 10, 20, 30, 40. What, what's, your, what's your vision? 100? Uh, my vision is 60. So you need to get to uh, 10, 20, 30. You need to get to there. Damn it. Uh, I will... Which you can do. But that would cost me bonus action. Wouldn't that cost me my action? Uh, no, because you were there. You were on ten. No, I was here. Uh, twenty. I was here. Thirty. And then I yeah. Was... So you run ten, twenty, thirty. So I could get to there. Yes, you get to there. Okay. And for, as my action, I will cast. The exact same spell as Glack did, because I've got guiding. one. <laughs> I got one guiding bolt per uh, action. Okay. Uh, well, you do have advantage on it, because the last person to attack him was Glack. So I will use guiding bolt. Yeah, go for it. All right, twenty-seven does hit, and he takes all of that and more Shall as he I... screams in pain. Shall I do it again to see if it crits? Crit. Crit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sick. No, it doesn't crit. Nope. All right. It does oh. take all of that, however. At the end of your turn, uh, he, seeing himself surrounded, he's going to and uh, snap his fingers again. The elephant would attack as well. Yep. Yeah, go for it with advantage. Uh... You're going to be yanked by the grasping vine. Uh, so... Advantage attack from the elephant. Glack on deck. Uh, oh! Hey! A crit from the elephant. So, what's that? Uh... Oh! As, as the elephant pierces into him, uh, no. uh, you notice he manages to shrug aside slightly, and it catches the, uh... the studded leather armor uh, of Zaraj. Uh, not doing as much damage as you'd expect on this crit. Don't roll extra. All right. So just uh, roll extra three. dice. Just just roll the regular dice. Because he's wearing adamantine studded leather. Okay. okay. Six. Twenty-two. Okay then. Um. Yeah. He takes it. He is not a happy person right now. Uh. But he sees himself being surrounded. And Lan, I need a dexterity saving throw, please. Uh. As you are just yanked back towards these boxes. Aye! Black, it's your turn. As just vines. <laughs> these, these tendrils of inky blackness, actually, yank you around the, the throat and the leg and just <laughs> yank yeah. you backwards. Because if it had been actual vines, I would have said, that's my thing. No, they're <laughs> not actual vines. Black, <laughs> it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to run up to just here. 10, 20, mm -hmm. 30, 40. I'm going to shoot off a spell and then hide in between these barrels. Okay. Yes, you okay. can certainly try. Roll. What's your spell? It's just a little sacred flame. Oh, okay, it's a dexterity save. Um, dex save. Where is his dex? There it is. Whoop! There it is. 
he oh, actually yeah. can't fail because he has a plus 15 dex save. Oh. Sorry. And evasion. And then I'm going to try and hide. Uh, yeah, roll stealth check. <laughs> okay. At the end of your turn, um, the Gristro makes a dex save, which it has a flat roll on. Hey, it rolls a nat 20. So it shrugs off the vines surrounding him and charge towards Zaraj. Uh, and is going to use his entire turn to fuck this guy up. Um, he's got plus 13 to attack both of these, so he rolls a double fist attack. Uh, and a hit and a miss. Go, Gristro! It's 3 die 10. The Gristro you were fucking attacking earlier. I wasn't. Um, yeah, well, uh, although that's 23 points of damage, which uh, Zaraj is going to use his reaction to half uh, his uncanny dodge. So he takes 11 oh, points instead. Okay, he's he's not he's very unhappy looking, um, and okay. he he uses his bonus action to disengage and hop over this wall and run. And as he looks around you all, he glances over the over the over the wall and says, "Well, hello there." And uh, just you watch as you've done a uh, hundred points to him, so. You watch as he begins to channel something. Um, it's uh, his conquering presence. Uh, I need everyone to make me a wisdom saving throw. He's going to use his conquering presence. A, would you class this as a magical effect? It is a magical effect, yes. So you have a flat roll instead of... Oh, yeah. Um, it was meant to be with disadvantage because of the neural toxin. All right. So I'll I'll have everyone... Dion, you were fine. Uh, Lanmar, you need <laughs> to re-roll and take the lower. Uh, Pizzazz, you got the 11. Glack, you need to re-roll. Best of it, though, was that was at disadvantage. <laughs> yes. 16. Uh, so Lanmar fails. Glack succeeds. Uh, and Pizzazz... Uh, do you want to re-roll since you rolled uh, doubles? I'll let you re-roll a flat roll. Okay. For fun. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah, so, so everyone but Glack is now afraid of Zaraj as he just seems to almost double in height. Uh, his eyes go black uh, and it's very Meliodas from the Seven Deadly Sins. He's basically he's a conquest paladin. Bob, if you could roll a wisdom save for the elephant as well with this, uh, not with disadvantage, because he's, although that's oh. still a fail. Yeah, um, because it's just a straight up roll anyway. Yeah, the Garistro rolls. Uh, it's, no, it's immune to fear because it's undead. Uh, that's his action. So. Yes. Uh, that the one that... in incidentally, uh, if a creature is frightened, so he has also an aura of conquest. So while you're frightened of him, your speed is zero while in this aura. And you take uh, 10 points of psychic damage when you start your turn, just so you're aware. Okay? As his bonus action, he is going to cast a spell on his bow. It looks to be some sort of smite spell. And he lines up a shot at... Uh, fuck it, we'll say Lanmar, because he's very pissed off with you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think this feeling is mutual. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, so, Dion, as you start your turn, your speed is zero, you take ten points of psychic damage. As you look upon... Uh, this this creature, this horrifying creature. What do you do? What do you want to do? You are afraid of him, I'm and you afraid. and you know why now. <laughs> there is smoke now, black smoke billowing from his nostrils. 
What are you doing? Because I was on deck, by the way. What does mm-hmm. fear actually do? So while he's within your line of sight, you have disadvantage on your attacks against him. Okay. Is that five damage? And, and you... Hmm? The five damage you said... Was that no, me? that's that's when he next attacks. So he's imbuing his bow with a branding smite. Yeah. Dion, well, what, what I'm going to at least try and do mm-hmm. is conjure barrage on him. Okay, so what does he have to roll for that? Uh, it's it's uh, a deck saving throw. Okay. Uh, uh, it's that's 14. A, that's, a, that's a crit. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a crit 35. Um, Yeah. But does he? Oh no, he uh, doesn't take half because he's he uses his evasion. Uh, okay. So you just watch as he looks above and he spins his bow above his head, and it seems to just deflect uh, all the all the arrows you fire up in the air just deflect off his this rapidly spinning bow. And as they cease, he catches the bow in one hand and uh, looks very displeased with you and says, "I thought he, the young upstart." of the lodge was more impressive a hunter than that. How you disappoint me, Dion. Can for the storm. Pizzazz. Looking at terrified of this man. Yes. Looking at him, though, Mm -hmm. can I tell what race he is? You can tell he's a half-orc. Yes. Half-orc, okay. Um, But the, the black smoke... Coming out of his nose and his ears and his, his mouth and his eyes, uh, it's it's somewhat reminiscent of uh, Liam. Liam mm-hmm. Rue. Yeah. I'm just trying to look up what um, uh, spell score save DC would be on 6th level. 6th level is 17. 17. Mm-hmm. Okay, same as uh, my DC then. Because I didn't look this up last week. I am going to pull out the spell scroll of Otto's Irresistible Dance. Oh, God. And and try cast it on him. So he needs to make a 17 whiz save. Um, I don't think that's how it works. I think it just happens. Uh, it's, It's irresistible. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. On the, you choose uh, choose one creature. The target begins tapping comically, and yeah. dancing, capering for the duration. Uh, must use all its movement to dance without leaving its space. Disadvantage on deck saves and attacks. Other creatures have advantage on attack rolls against it. Uh, as an action, a dancing creature makes a wisdom save to regain control. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. Um, all right, okay. That's that's um, very interesting. And then I'm going to move away. Uh, you can't. Your speed is zero. Oh, While well, you're in yeah. his his aura of conquest. Because uh, that's an action. I can't do anything else. And at the start of your turn, you do take ten points of psychic damage as well. Mm-hmm, that's fine. Is that your turn? That'd be me. I can't do anything else. Cool. Lanwar and the elephant. Uh, at the start of your turns, you both take 10 points of psychic damage. Um, I need a concentration check for your summon Fey, I think. It's a concentration yeah. spell. I'm just applying the damage to me first, and I will do a con save. Uh, yeah, that succeeds. It's a DC ten. Um, yeah, yeah. Hey, no. you can you can you can d- use your turn normally. Uh, can like elephant can't move. Uh, no. Uh, and I. All right, I will use. 
So there's this giant, terrifying half orc just round, just dancing on this roof. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. It's actually a lift platform. I will. Uh... Currently raised. Um, there are the there mm. are the the things to lower it. I'm guessing is Bazaar's within thirty feet of me. Uh, ten, twenty, uh, just yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, well, just. I'll use another the last of my five charges on my healing wand, and everyone heals for. Uh, God, sixteen. <laughs> um, as you do so, as you do so, uh, I want you to roll me a d twenty, please. Gang. <laughs> Nine. Um, I you can inspire this if you want. By the way, it's yes, I'll use my inspiration. All right, <laughs> everyone should have at least two at this point. I think inspirations. I uh, will use my last inspiration. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> so, so reduce I'd... that sixteen by three, please. I'll, d- I'll just go home. <laughs> you, you've been rolling shockingly this entire arc, plan. Uh Cool, that's your action. So, uh, I, I would, th- I would say get new dice, but they're digital. Yeah, get new um, digital dice. Your elephant okay, can't I'll, move. I'll buy more digital dice. Uh, um, which do. means, which means, if uh, there's no bonus actions, it will be black. Uh, do I have any bonus actions that I can do? Uh, let's see. Action. Uh, As you're just watching this figure exude this dark smoke that seems to be leaching into your very minds. Uh, I'll turn invisible. It's, it's... <laughs> For a uh, ah! All right. Um, okay. Yeah, go for it. Um, at the end of your turn before Glack goes, uh, the Gristra's gonna make another uh, deck save. Uh, but unfortunately is, uh, is not successful as it's yanked 20 feet back towards the edge of the radius, incidentally. Glack, it's now your turn. Okay, I pull on my... Your, as, as you look out, as you look around at your friends... You see the elephant, Pizzazz, Dion, and Lanwar all seem to be... It's like their minds. It's like their ears and their eyes are sort of exuding this slightly brackish smoke um, that's pouring from them into, D- into Zaraj, or vice versa. You can't really tell, but it's, it's like it has, he has them all in their thrall. In his thrall, by the way. Okay. Oh, and at the end of all your turns, you get wisdom saves again um, okay. to end the effect. Advantage so, Dion, the uh, just the first one is with disadvantage. So, okay. yeah. Pizzazz, you have advantage. Dion, a flat wisdom save. Lanwar and the elephant, a flat wisdom save. So, Pizzazz breaks out of it. Lanwar breaks out of it. The fear <laughs> effect. Uh... Uh, Dion breaks out of it. Oh, and the elephant. What does the elephant do? Oh, the elephant's still morbidly afraid of this thing. Um, but Glack, your, your friends actually, as you look, they seem to be regaining composure of themselves um, and no longer wetting themselves, but still look, you know, ooh, shit, this guy, we better take him seriously. Uh, but it is you, and um, he's right there. He's right for the, for the punching. I put on my stolen sunglasses. I walk up <laughs> to within... 10 foot of him, and I'll just start wailing on him with my radiant fists. <laughs> Go for it. So, did that actually roll? So, 23 for the first one? Uh, yeah, that hits. 10 damage. Uh, radiant 10 radiant damage. damage. Aha, okay. Do it, Glack! That's 9, He's... so 18 yeah. radiant damage. Screams, yep. Then I'm gonna... Screams again. Fist of Fury. <laughs> All right, yeah, go 26 for, for another nine. Okay. And then, oh, 29, 29 <laughs> for another nine. Um, at that one, he's, he's going to use his reaction, I think, to Uncanny Dodge. <laughs> and, and, and half that to nine. Because he's looking at, after these, these flurry of attacks, he is looking 
like this radiant damage has just burned him to his core. He looks rough. Like he's never experienced power of the gods like this before. Like everything he has shot and killed up to this point has just died so easily. But you, he looks down at you and he is the most displeased. Um, since he's below 100 hit points. At, at the, if that's your turn, anything else? Uh, I'm going to use my remaining to move around to this side of the thing, but I'm still... My punches are 10 feet away, so I'm mm-hmm. still 10 foot away from him, just to let you know. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so at the end of your turn, uh, can you make a dexterity saving throw, please? Uh, yeah. The Grister's going to so, well, charge it's forward. 31. Grister's going to charge forwards, get into melee range. Uh, yeah, so you're not um, you're not grabbed by these vines. These vines come out of this wall here and try to grapple you in place. But he is very... Yeah, he is, he is most displeased. He turns towards you, uh, Dion having apparently been forgotten. Um, and he's going to actually... Grimace and cast Destructive Wave. So everyone, please make me a Constitution saving throw. Uh, no, actually, you know what? No, he doesn't do that. Sorry. Um, I take that back. I mean, why is mine that? Sorry. Um, he's instead going to look deep into Glack's eyes. And says, I... yep. You should attack your druid friend. And he's casting Dominate Person. So I need a wisdom. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you do have that, don't you? Mm-hmm. Um, you would need to roll for it as it is slightly higher level. And that's Arcana, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, a no, it's a, it's a, it's an intelligence check, just a flat intelligence oh. check. Ooh. You, mm, nah. It, it looks like the spells, your spell is failing. Unless you want to inspire it. Yeah, let's inspire it. Okay, go for it. That is just not enough. Just barely <laughs> not enough, I'm afraid. As uh, as his 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 power is too strong, and he <laughs> he cuts right through uh, to Glack's mind. I need a wisdom save from you, Glack. Okay, but is Tazaz ch- bought you time. Is this a charm effect in any way, or yes? Okay, just want to double check. Um, is it a charm or is it a domination effect? I think it. I think the two are. Yeah, it is charmed. Okay, cool. That's for next turn, though, don't I? Yeah. Um. So you you have your orders. Yep. Um, as a bonus action, he is going to run. Uh, run away, taking an opportunity attack from the Gristro. He runs off in this direction and dives amongst these boxes and rolls a stealth check. Would I would have got an opportunity attack? Uh, no, because you're charmed by him. You view ah. him as a you view him as a trusted friend. Um, no, I wouldn't because he'd technically be ten foot away from me, wouldn't he? Yeah. And he, yes, technically. And he has advantage because of boots. So a 23. So his lowest is a 26. So um, he is hidden somewhere in these boxes. Oh, come on, get away. I forget he is dancing as well. So he is. Could he move with his dancing? Must use all its movement to dance. God damn it. <laughs> He's stuck there. Get back he, there. Is, he is stuck there. 
Get back. <laughs> Doing a merry little dance. Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. <laughs> what ridiculous is this? <laughs> is this? Um, Who gave me that spell? Um, I believe it was me to make this combat <laughs> a little easier. Um... <laughs> Da, 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 dun, dun. Uh, that's his turn. Dion, it is you. Uh, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on Zaraj. Mm -hmm. And then attack him. And you have okay. a Go for it. Yes, you do, because he's dancing comically on the spot. Uh, advantage, did you say? Yes, mm -hmm. you have advantage. Bazaar's on deck, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> luckily, oh. he doesn't take the crit damage, so that's uh, 13 uh, only. Wait, doesn't he have the arrows? To he, does, but he, didn't, he does, but he didn't say he was using them. He needs to say beforehand. Let's also get the hunter's mark damage that's as well. That's fair enough. Uh, you need to help me this one, James. Uh, yeah. Savage attacks? That's Does melee. it still work? No, it's melee attacks. Savage attackers. It says are when you melee. score a critical hit, roll one of the dice an additional time and add it to the extra damage. So it's, it's the melee thing. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, this is ranged. Just because it didn't say melee attack. Uh, Second right. hit though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what I'm gonna fire a lightning arrow. Uh lightning's it, one that is takes that, up the whole attack action. Is is that a bonus? Yeah. Yeah. It's a bonus it's... action to cast and you cast Hunter's Mark this turn. So you can't do oh, it. Right, okay. Fire. You can fire a regular shot or an adamantine shot. Um but I'll if you don't fire yeah. an adamantine shot. Okay. Oh, sorry, if, what were you gonna say there? If you don't crit, uh it doesn't do extra damage, just so you're aware. Right. So that, that's the trade-off. If you have enough of them, you can fire them at your heart's content um, and hope they crit. But if it doesn't, it doesn't do extra damage. That's the trade-off. Is this still an advantage, yeah? Yeah, but it's still an advantage. Are you going to use one before you roll? Uh, yes. Okay. What advantage? Okay. That's still still sixteen damage though. Uh, you can do nothing about that at the end of your turn. Um, however, since he's below that health threshold, he does get to make a shot. Uh, he's not throwing away his shot either, as his legendary actions. So it's it's very persona. I've made this guy very persona. So the more you damage him, the more stuff he does basically. Um. So he's going to use his death bow against we'll stick his ass. <laughs> it's a disadvantage to hit. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a 25 then with disadvantage. Because for some reason it rolled with advantage. All right. um, so a 25 yeah, to hit. hit. <laughs> okay, so you take 32 piercing damage. Uh, oh, no, it's it's not 32, it's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 piercing and 8 necrotic, which I believe you're resistant to. I'm resistant to the necrotic, yes. Yep. So it is... So, 28 damage. 28. Okay. And he regains the necrotic damage he dealt. And I need to roll a con for Otto's dance. For Nat 20. Ah, damn it. Um, that's the end of Dion's turn. Pizzazz, it's you. You've just been shot in the fucking shoulder by this guy, and mm -hmm. it stings. Uh, the necrotic energy seeps into you, but you seem to be doing fine. Um, yeah, what are, you, what are you doing? How is he looking? He's looking pretty badly damaged. Uh, maybe about a, a quarter, you would say, of his health. He's, he's looking kind of rough. Looking kind of rough. Yeah, let's try. But 
but he seems to be reveling in this chaos, enjoying it, and getting more powerful as he as he goes along. Mm-hmm. Let's try this then. Disintegrate. Fuck. What is that? A con save? It is. Da, da, da. It's really high roll as well. It's a dex save. Dex save. At disadvantage. It is at disadvantage. What's your DC? 17. Okay, so at disadvantage, he needs to roll a 2 or higher. Oh, God, oh. my God. So you watch, as even while tap dancing on the spot, he his eyes as well widen with fear. This is the first time you've seen him see fear at all. Um, as it passes over him, and he just manages to contort and tap dance his his self in such a way that he avoids the damage entirely. Um, however, um, not, well, yeah, he would because he's, he's got um, evasion. Yeah. I'm afraid. Um, however, a large chunk of this pedestal that he's on uh, just gives way entirely, and uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to roll another deck save to see if he doesn't. Uh, f- slide down. Uh, yeah, he's he's fine. Um, but that seemed to really shake him up. That's oh my god, man, Jesus! That's your high level spell, isn't it? Yeah. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Um, That's at the end, at the I end of your turn, it. yeah, at I the knew, end of your I turn, knew he had high level specs. Oh yeah, it was so close though. He it, it, he rolled a three. Yeah. Yeah. He would have needed a natural one, I'm afraid. Um, but at the, at the end of his turn, uh, he's going to attack you with disadvantage because that's... Oh, I would, would have moved it back as well. Okay. Um, uh, Dion, you also take 10 uh, psychic damage as well, by the way, for the two hits you gave him. Oh, because, right, okay. Because he has scornful rebuke. Um, then he's going to attack you to think with his death bow strike okay. with disadvantage. But for a nat one, uh, the arrow goes sailing past your ear, just imbued with this necrotic damage. You're getting wise to his attacks now. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is Lanwar. Lanwar, mm-hmm. this right. guy seems to be I'm... Ne- nearing near enough on the ropes. Well, when I reappear on my turn, I am going mm-hmm. to use my fifth level spell scroll to cast. Mm-hmm. Dispel magic on Glack. Then... Wait, what magic? I do, what magic do I have? Uh, you have got the. Oh no! Don't worry. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. You don't have a spell scroll of fifth level. You can cast dispel magic using your scroll, but it's you cast it at the lowest level. Remember. Yeah, I'm using. It's going not be... So you're saying you're... That... I'm saying I'm fine. <laughs> I've heard him t- send you to attack me. Oh, no. Yeah, you you wouldn't. Yeah, black up, can't. Um... Up, up to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Depends you... on your health situation, Lanmore. Yeah, that's why I'm oh, using spells. I'm not going to get to you. Like, you know, I'm a monk. Yeah. So oh, I'm real then... good at charmed effects. Okay, clarity of mind. Yes. <laughs> it's just I don't really have a lot of attack things I can use on him other than walking up to him and probably trying to hit him. Do you not have Guiding Bolt again? No, Guiding Bolt was only a, a feature, class feature that's a one-shot uh, thing. We, uh, Anything else still want? You can dodge, you can hide. You are looking pretty weak. I... Okay, then if I'm not You can heal that, yourself. I'm you can gonna, heal, yeah. I'm gonna use one of my superior potions then. Cool. You do so. Uh, Black, at the... Uh, in between the start Ooh. of... Uh, the end of Lanwar's turn, at the start of yours, um, he's going to shoot Pizzazz again. Or shoot at Pizzazz. With his death bow strike. A 20 to... A dirty 20 to hit. Yeah, even if I show that one, do anything. So okay. yeah. So it's twenty-four piercing and two haft to one necrotic. 
25, 25 damage. I'm guessing I still have... And he's going to throw uh, an unholy smite on there because he doesn't know you're resistant to necrotic. So take four necrotic damage as he expends in our second level spell slot. I, I would have still had my bonus action. I was going to throw the heal towards Pizzazz or something. Yeah, yeah, roll, roll a heal. Um, I'm imagining you're doing that. Glack, it's your turn. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to use my clarity of mind to get rid of the charmed effect. Yeah, so you, do you just go into like a zen state, like a zenyata type thing, where you, it's just like the transcendence yeah, situation, I feel or like, like floating I in the lowest position? I feel, you know, no, no, I smell the smell of the critical fit gym when it first opens, uh. <laughs> disinfectant spray. Yeah, it just clears the mind. Yeah, uh, you're you're so the you're the first one sweat. in the gym. Yeah, you're the first one in the gym in the morning, and it's just ah, it's, it's the chlorine from the pool next door, and the the, the not gym, so gym subtle. Smell. Yeah, it's that new <laughs> cleaning smell, and that's your action. Any bonus action, you can dodge, disengage, monk stuff, uh, spiritual weapon. Do you have that? Uh, no, I don't. But what I I'm going to do on Lanoir, who's over there. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to give you a shield of faith. Oh, look at that. So you uh, get plus two to your AC. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, um, got uh, the elephant rolled on 19 to try and break the effect. And uh, uh, yeah, he's he's fine now at the end of his turn. And yeah. uh, Bazazu got 15 plus 5 for temp. Okay, lovely, thank you. Okay, it's the Gristro's turn, and I'm um, just going to move there. <laughs> yeah, the Gristro's just going to attack um, with advantage. Because he's dancing comically on the spot, but that's a miss, mm -hmm. and that's a miss. Which is such a shame. Um... Poor Garistro, poor undead Garistro. Um, all of you, he's just abandoned. He seems to be focusing down now on Zuraj, and it is the devil's turn himself. Um, yeah, he's not going to do that. However, he, yeah, he he has to. He he has to. Oh fuck! He has elusive. No attack roll has advantage against him. I'd forgotten about that. Ah well. Um, that's fine. He's he's still dancing comically on the spot. Mm. From from I mean, here on out, from here on out, getting, as, as long as he's still getting disadvantage, that's brilliant. Unless unless he tries to break out of it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, he's he, at this point. He's going to use destructive wave. I think. Yeah. So everyone at this point, make me a con save, please. Oh, pizzazz! Yeah, you you do that shit all the time. <laughs> so fail. So pass fail. Dion, you don't have advantage. Yeah, I'm just sorting so, that. So three fails. So everyone who failed. So it's five dice six. All of this in thunder. So 19, or Pizzazz, you take 9. The elephant as well? Uh, yeah, the elephant as well. Right, uh, so it's 19 damage. 19 thunder damage, yeah. It has a plus 3. Okay, uh, that's a fail. So the elephant also takes 19 thunder. Um, oh, and uh, 20 necrotic um, Pizzazz, you would take half because you succeeded, so 10 and half again because you are resistant, so five. And he regains uh, 20, 40, plus 40, 15, 15, 20, yeah, for each creature that was affected. That took me down almost half my health. <laughs> it's a fifth level spell, and it's a great oh. paladin control spell mm -hmm. if you're all surrounding him, to be honest. Uh, that is his turn. Uh, mm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bonus action. What can he do? 
very little, it turns out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, very little. He's a yeah, he's a he's a run and gun kind of guy. Dion the kill stealer, it's yourself. Uh, I'm gonna attack him with one of the. I was gonna say adamantium arrows. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's adamantium. Uh, just a regular attack, no more advantage because oh, I realized right. he's he's elusive. Did you say as a nineteen high plus level rogue. extra damage, other damage as well? Uh, nineteen plus twenty necrotic. Yeah. All right, the elephant's gone. Save. Cool. Uh... Raylan's gonna hit him. And 14 damage, uh, 15 damage, uh, it's good. Okay, next attack. Oh, will Dion k steal the kill again? Let's find out. I'm going to try the lightning arrow. You can't. Uh, that's that's oh, a full cool action to use. You need to do that at the start of your turn. And also it would hit Black as well. No, okay. Yeah, it's normal attack. Okay. Bazaar's on deck. Twenty-one mm -hmm. is gonna hit him. Remember to take five psychic damage each time you're hitting him. So you've taken ten this turn. Ten, right? Yeah. So how how's that health looking, Dion? It's another ten health you've lost from just attacking him. It's, um, it's not looking good. I imagine it's, it's not. Uh, I think this is the worst I've been in any of the games. Yeah. Well, it is end game stuff. Um, cool. Uh, at the end of your turn, he's going to use uh, three of his legendary actions to use his cleansing touch. Uh, and end the irresistible dance on him because it's frankly getting tiring. Hmm. Um, and he yeah, wants well, to keep his legs he, strong. <laughs> yeah, and he wants to kill you, Dion. And he's not getting a chance because you're the furthest away, Pizzazz. It's your turn. That is a shame. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's a crying shame. Pizzazz. So I am going to cast Scorching Ray. Okay, fire. So the first one is a 20. Just hits. Hit. Yeah. So that's 7. And then second one, 21 for another 10. Three, and then third one for 19. That's not going to do it, I'm afraid. Um, you watch as the fire skirts off him and seems to do less damage than you were uh, hoping. His, uh, uh. his fiery nature, um, demonic nature, just absorbing uh, most of it. Or perhaps it's it, you watch as the belt around his midriff um, seems to be absorbing some of its effects. So minus eight. All right, he's looking kind of rough. Lanwar, are you moving away, Dion? Again? Is he thirty away from me? Uh, he is thirty away. Yes. Okay, I'm going to walk up to him, and I'm going to use primal savagery. All right, yeah, go for it. Oh, um, man. Whiff! Oh. <laughs> you, you miss and, uh, and strike sideways into the Minotaur, who roars in pain um, and backhands you. <laughs> really? Uh, Glack. Okay, I'm just going to wail on him again from behind. Yeah, go uh, for it. No more advantage now, from it. Yes, but I do get advantage because of pack tactics because I'm a kobold. No attack against him has advantage while he's in not oh, that's paid. So powerful. It is uh, like a 17th level rogue thing. That's it there. No attack roll has advantage. Even if you're prone. Just to it's 19th level. Yeah, it's, it's very high level rogue shit. But that just hits him there. Um, so that's he's yeah, he's very worried about you. You seem to be doing a shitload of this damage. Uh, that one's going to miss. He's I'm going to go for... Very bad, man. 
two more. Uh, All 18. Right. And a That's 22, a at least I get one more hit. <laughs> All right, he's going to he's gonna half that damage to, to nine. He's he's looking very bad. Can you guys see <laughs> the green bar above his above his mini, by the way? No. No. Nope. Nope. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. No, that'll it's, be a, a GM it's, thing. It's, yeah, well, <laughs> I can tell you, it's it's very very thin. Um, ding, 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 ding. Uh, it's the undead Garistro's turn now, who is, is just going to attack twice. Um, yeah, and <laughs> three die ten damage. Yeah, twenty-seven. Oh, even better. <laughs> okay, uh, you watch as. Uh, the Gristro kicks Zaraj, um, who looks to be bloodied and out for the count as he as he flies back ten foot right to the very edge. But you watch as he he looks down, he looks down for the count, he looks dead and dying and, and all these sorts of things. But you watch as just Dion, you recognize this half orc sort of life um, rejuvenate within him. Um, uh, rest he is on endurance. Yeah, his mm-hmm. relentless. He he looks to be relentless now uh, as he stands up from prone and as his mythic action uh, he is going to activate his invincible conqueror his 20th level paladin thing uh, so that's his that's his mythic action and then as his full action he is going to use all of his lay on hand points on himself oh. to bring him to to 101. Yep. Yeah, 20th level paladins. Jesus. We've, what the this fuck is, are we this fighting? Is, this is uh, a gestalt 20th level rogue 20th level paladin. It's a tier 4 adventurer. Um, but he has very cool shinies if you do manage to down him. And you look to have taken him to his ghost life. Uh, but that is his mythic action and his, his legendaries. So Dion, it's you as you just watch him get to his feet. And he seems to be floating now. Um, just gently floating just like two, three, four, five feet above the ground. Um, yeah, no, he's he's hovering about two feet above the ground. That, that Yeah, not five, because then Black would be annoyed. Um, yeah, he's just sort of floating there two foot above the ground, uh, just exuding this extraordinary prowess. You can see why now, and you realize this, this is the guy. This, this must be the Noid who is the best hunter in the entire Hunter's Lodge. This, this must be him. This must be the guy. Uh, the why he would want to kill you is beyond you at this point. Um, but it is your Wait, turn. Did, did Dion steal one of his kills as well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually. Um, he's... He sees Dion as the young upstart of the organization, and he's like he's going around killing gods and celestials. Um, so he he's trying to take him down a peg, but clearly he's losing. But he's very much at this moment uh, slightly on the back foot. But you know, uh, but Dion, it's you. Um, you flash back to killing this guy, stealing this guy's kill that one time. Um, <laughs> But yes, he stole your Initially, he, uh, he stole this Dion, from you. Uh, chuckles at the flashback. Mm, I bet. Uh, and then he uh, rolls his eyes as he sees him come back. It's like, yeah. oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, so I uh, attack with my lightning arrow. Yes, go for it. Uh, it's a fifth level spell. Uh, okay. Yeah, fifth. Okay. No, fourth, sorry. Uh, That's not going to hit. Ah, jeez. Uh, normal attack. Okay. I'm going to need to look this up before next session. Um, that does hit him, and he takes half damage from it because of his relentless conqueror. Um, as you all just feel dread fill you, pizzazz. You look up into this this figure who looks down at you all and says, "I am the rage. 
I am the darkness, and you will all bow before me. You think you're pissed yeah. off? He looks at you with blank, pitiless eyes. You will be first. I will save Dion for last. You will watch as all of your friends die. You have led them to their deaths. Uh, but yeah, 27's absolutely hidden. And he takes all of that damage. Uh, well, it's halved. But still, you're chipping away. Uh, Lanwar. Uh, uh, I will cast Conjure Fae. Okay. Yeah, uh, go for it. What are you What are you conjuring? I will try and conjure what's the highest level on I can at fifth. What is it? Uh, you've clicked Conjure Elemental. Oh. Yeah, sorry. I meant Conjure Elemental, not Conjure Fae. Okay, yeah, it's an invisible stalker. Uh, no, I can't. Uh, that's if I ca upcast it. Ah, so then fifth, uh, I some sort of fifth. elemental. Fifth. An elemental of some description, yeah. Uh, I will try and summon an air elemental beside him. Okay. Uh, as you do so, you hear a little, a little voice you recognize, but you've not heard in a year. Except in your nightmares, you hear a blasted thing. There we go. And um, roll me two die twenty, please. Two die twenty. Two die twenty. Okay. Uh, one, two. Uh, yes, you summon uh, two elementals. Okay. Uh... And then you hear, did it work? Oh, shit. Is this thing working? Only you hear this. Okay. John Crow? Just in the heat of battle, uh, you know what, I'll just, uh, I'll just use this thing here. <laughs> there we go. Where, wherever you're putting them, I don't, I don't care. Beside him. Basically, uh, to fight them. Okay, they do have. I'm just going to introduce it now because, uh, yeah, summoning sickness. Why isn't that working? What level elemental are they? Just the. Uh... Just the standard elementals. Mm. so I can get their health. Yep. Um, any of them. Any of which you wish. So they will act on your on your next turn with their their summoning sickness. Um, I'll need to make sure that you can, you can control them. Uh, Fucking druids, stop summoning shit, Jesus Christ. <laughs> they would have 90 health each if they were elementals. Great. More hit points. <laughs> Woo. Um... Right, there you go. Add <laughs> add their health at your leisure, sir. Okay. Because um, you can control them now. That's, that's your turn. Black. Uh, Lanwar's just summoned elementals. To add more shit to this sandwich. And he's just said Junkrat's name. Which is strange. Is he here? No, he just looked around confusedly and, and said Junkrat's name. Mm -hmm. But there's there's no time to think about that now. There's a there's a demonoid that's just sort of hovering menacingly off the ground there, seemingly drawing all shadows to them. Uh, you watch as the area around them begins to go darker. I'm going to move up just to here. Then I'm going to say, so, you think you can kill Dion? And cast Bane. Charisma save. I think yeah, it's 16. Has I a chance. I think you guys got high charisma. 
has a chance. Um, he's a paladin. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, bro. I mean, it's worth a shot. It was a good <laughs> shot. Yep, that's all I've got. Standing there with him as well. well. Yep. Okay, it's the Gristro's turn. Um, it's gonna like back up ten feet and then charge at uh, at Siraj. So it's gonna charge through the elemental first. So it's gonna have to roll these. Deck save. Um, so it's a uh, twenty-one because the new thing. Um, no, no, it's not a deck save. Uh, he just gores the elemental out of his way. Um, I'm just, I'm just gonna take the average forty-five damage because I'm fed up with rolling for. The Gristro. There's too many rolls to do here, guys. Damage, um, damage, resistance, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. So he forces that thing out of the way, um, and makes uh, makes two attacks against the Raj. Uh, one of which hits. Three D ten plus seven. Uh, Twenty three half to eleven. Okay, uh, that's the undead Garistro's turn. Zaraj looks around at you all pitilessly and seems to, at the start of his turn, summon shadows around him. He is now not visible and he's going to attack you, uh, Glack, as an unseen attacker. Unless, do you have blind sight? Um, well, we've all got blind sight through the headsets. Mm -hmm. uh, to what range? 10 foot. He doesn't know this, so he's not going to attack with advantage. Um, but he's he's going to give you all a shot. Don't worry. A thirty-one to hit Glack. Yeah, for, yes. For twenty-three damage. Wait, what's he hitting with? Can I ask? He is firing an arrow at you. Yeah, that's right. Then I am going to try Fucking I'm going to use monks. my reaction to, like, oh, there's an arrow. Hoda. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, go for it. As it just fires out of the blackness. Go for it. Dion shows, looking it wasn't it. me. <laughs> it's, ah, there he is. Ah, oh, for God's sake. 1d10 plus 15. Go for it. Um, so 23, which means you just reduce it to zero. You catch it perfectly in midair just as it's about to hit you in the, hit you in the face. And Do you want to spend a key point to throw it back? Okay, yeah, you just... Just drop it to the floor like, I think you lost something. Um, but he's already moved on to Lanwar, who he is not within 10 feet of, so he has advantage. Um, this could be very bad. 22 to hit you, Lanwar. Yep. Uh, take 64 damage. Now I'm down. And, and I don't know if these ones go out of control. Um, I'm just going to say the, uh, the magic in the air causes them to flicker away. Uh, and lastly, Pizzazz. As he seems to look around, Dion. You do have three quarters cover, though, Pizzazz, so add plus five to your mm -hmm. thing. Uh, a 21 to hit? Does that hit? I'm going to shield. Oh, my God! What? Oh, man. Amazing. All right. Um, yeah, and at the end of the turn, the darkness drops around him. Um, oh, we've missed someone. We've missed Dion. Dion, it's your turn. Uh, Lanwar has just been KO'd again. Glack, you just watched catch an arrow, and Pizzazz actually shielded himself from the shot. This, this, this. If any, if any chance comes, it's it seems to be now when he's looking his most powerful. Somehow, what are you doing? Are you stealing another kill? Pizzazz on deck, by the way. I'm gonna use volley. Conjure. Conjure volley. Uh, yeah. Okay. Remember, it's an action to do that, so you'll uh, get yeah. no shots off. 
Yeah, and that's a dex. That's a dex save, right? Uh, it's part of the multi attack. Let me look it up. I would lose page ninety three. I'd lose control of the elementals if I lose concentration. All right. Um, casting time one action. It's not part of your multi attack. It's a casting time of one. Oh, uh, it's under multi attack. Well, it's not a multi attack. You fire in all magical places. Da, 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 hundreds of it. It's each creature within a forty foot radius, twenty foot high cylinder, centered yeah, on a point. It says here uh, on D and D Beyond. Like, also, it's a fifth level spell. And you can use your action to make a ranged attack against any number of creatures within 10 feet of a point you can see within your weapon's range. You right. must have that's, ammunition for each target. That's a ranger thing. That's volley. That's not conjure volley. Conjure yeah, well, that, that's it's the one. Uh, um, well, there is only one real sort of enemy, so it doesn't really it do doesn't. much else. Uh, just pretty much your base attack would just... Base while they're shooting him. I'll use one of the animantine arrows okay. and I'd, normal attack. Yeah, Would I it believe be disadvantage? Wouldn't be at disadvantage, no, but I believe this is your final adamantine arrow, because you did only find five of them, remember? I thought it was six. But yeah, th that's fine. So it's right. just a normal attack. Normal attack? When he does hit, and as you watch, he does seem to take all of the damage of that one. Uh, it seems to have overridden the uh, the mythic action, but not quite uh, overridden the, the adamantine armor, but not quite his mythic uh, avatar of death, pretty much, uh, thing that he's got going on here. But that's a, a good solid hit. It lodges in his side, uh, and he grunts and snaps off the haft and chucks it to the ground. Uh, he looks very much fed up with you. Um, you've got one more attack. Just uh, a regular arrow at this thing. Go for it. Uh, and it just, yeah, he catches this one. Um, like in the end of his bow. As he brings up his bow, you see fastened to the end of it, uh, there is this giant glowing reddish orange yellow crystal of Arcanite, about the size of a, a child's head. Um, just so you're aware. Lanwar. Uh, no, Pizzazz first. Okay, and um, pull out a scroll uh, and the dagger. Sla uh, read the scroll and slash the dagger towards uh, Zvaj. Alright. For a 21 to hit. 21 does hit, as we've seen. Okay. What is this? I'm, fe is I'm fearful. Steel wind strike. Steel wind strike. Oh, lovely. And How much damage, I please? It, because I've got Spell Sniper, it doubles the range, so I'm up to uh, its 60-foot range. Yep. Which yep. is just it within. That is enough, and yeah. It'll 60 10. 6 die 10? Oh, my God. Uh, roll high, man. For 29 force damage. 29 force, uh, which he's resistant to, so it's 14. Doesn't look good. For him, um, and then I'm ducking back behind the banister. Yeah, Lanwar, a death save, please. Okay. Uh. Uh. Yep. What? What's it? It's been a while since I've rolled death save. What the, am I rolling again? It's just, death? it's just your death save modifier. What's... Which, if you're looking at roll twenty rather than beyond, I'm it's very beyond. simple to calculate. I'm on beyond. Well, I uh, don't know the, the system there. Uh, there should be a death save button. Uh, well, right. I found it. Okay, cool. One success. Um, Black. Uh, I'm... He's, he's just standing there. He, You know that he's weak to Radiant. If you can just land the punches, you might be able to end him. Well, I'm in 10 foot, so I'm going to punch him in the back. <laughs> All right. Yeah, go for it. Oh, 26. 26 is going to hit. 
um, he halves it and then doubles it because it's radiant. So mm-hmm. he takes the full 10. 18 will miss. 18 just misses. Just gonna unless, you wanna, unless you want to inspire it or anything. No, but I am going to use uh, one of my... Oh, I've got two key points left, so I'm going to use just what one more for another two for? punch. Yeah, that's a hit. 21 and, and 13. And that's a miss. Um, yeah, we can see it. Oh, man. It's coming down the wire now. It's the <laughs> uh, it's the undead Garistro, uh who just makes two attacks now. He's he's going wild, uh, but misses both times. Uh, or does he? Actually, it might be... No, he's got plus 13, so those do hit. Um, for I'm going to take the average of two to... Two times twenty, so he just does take twenty. Um, and Zaraj looks just awful now. He looks incredibly beaten. He looks damn near dead. Um, but he does have one last turn, and at the start of his turn, he the darkness once again surrounds him, and he grimaces and looks around at you all. Fine, if that's the way you want to play. And he disappears, almost shadow steps uh, over to by Dion. Almost shadow steps? He, he like, shadow I get steps. Him up? <laughs> no, he, he shadow steps over to Dion. Okay. Um, and he's going to fire at Pizzazz first this time uh, from his hidden position. Um, although, Dion, you, you incidentally can see him because he's within 10 feet of you. Pizzazz first, though. A 32 to hit, Pizzazz. Yep. Um, technically, the red, the necrotic damage would be half to one, so it's 50 mm-hmm. damage. 50 on down. Okay. He grimaces at you, Dion, turns back around to Glack. Oh, man, Glack, you're just you're going to cop both of these. <laughs> um, first first attack, a 29 to hit. Um, you, can, you can reduce it. Yeah, that's a pretty high one to try and do. So yeah, I'll reduce that one down. All right, go for it. In, in fairness, he's going to go for the Minotaur next. <laughs> I think that downs the Minotaur. So, yeah, well, no! Just... <laughs> the Minotaur has five hit points left. <laughs> oh. What's... I... Oh no, that's fine. Oh no, back. that's Sorry. that's that's yeah, yeah, that's the throw it back. So it's a just a D ten is fine. Yeah. So oh, cool. twenty one. <laughs> so you reduce it by twenty one. So uh, ten plus thirty. So you take forty three damage. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm still up. <laughs> All right. The Minotaur is barely there. Uh, but Dion, he's right in front of you. Actually, he he uses the last of his movement to get up right beside you, and at the end of his turn, um, he he becomes visible again. And as you watch, he begins to sort of begin chanting, uh, and you watch as the sort of arcane swirling inside uh, the gem on the end of his bow begins to grow brighter and brighter, and it reminds you a lot of uh, a lot of Junkrat's experiments with Arcanite and explosives. And he grimaces at you and says... You will not take me as your prize today. Not once have I been defeated. And that will not happen this time. Even if I have to destroy my soul, I will grow a champion. And I will take you with me. It's your turn. If ever there was a moment to steal a kill... Stab him! (laughs) Pizzazz in the throes of death says stab him stab him (laughs) as they bleed out as two of your allies bleed out Dion what are you doing ever the kill stealer Uh, I'm gonna attack him alright go Uh, for it first uh, can I inspire my attacks uh you is can, that I've not used uh, any of my inspirations. You can do so after you roll. So uh, if you roll just the regular hit first, uh, or you can roll with advantage, it's up to you. Because you might hit with the first one, you might not have to use advantage. 
Um, I'll uh, do it step really. I just wasn't. Sh I've never used okay. inspiration before. So. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Roll, roll your attack. And what are you hitting him with? That is right. a normal. Okay. Um. Yeah, he takes half of that. He takes six. He's looking bad. Fight uh, next attack, or unless you want to roll again, go for a crit. But that was a solid hit, to be honest. Uh, it was good enough. Yeah, okay. And a 26. And that's uh, 15 half to 7. Um, so, Dion. <laughs> I hate to fucking say this. Oh, but come how, on. But how do you want to do this? How, how, do you, how do you want to initiate his death scene, rather? Because he had... Fucking hell. He had... Exactly 13 hit points when he went over to you, and with all the halves, with his resistance, he you did 13 damage. If you'd rolled one lower <laughs> on, 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 on that final shot with the, the hunter's mark. Um, yeah, so how, how do you want to do this, Dion? I'm Ever? imagining it as, like... It probably happens a lot in anime as well, but I'm not an anime fan. So I'm imagining it as like in martial arts films when it's like the protagonist and the big bad, the camera zooms in oh, on yeah. each other's eyes. Oh yes, and it's it's you know it's, it goes from excellent. one person There's, to the other, yeah. and it's the uh, two half orcs, the two hunters facing off, both at the top of their game. One who's yeah. a demon, one who hunts celestials. In another life, they might have been brothers, friends, lovers, perhaps, <laughs> but. Who knows? But as you as you fire one into his gut, and he seems to double over in pain, you get one, and you fire it into his into his chest. Into his, and you can see the darkness, the necrotic energy seeping out of this hole you've created in his chest. And he stumbles forward and sort of puts his hand on your shoulder, and he smiles. Um, as his death action occurs, you watch as he brings down the crystal. A soul for a soul. And he smashes the bottom of his staff on the ground. And to you, and you, well, to him and you, everything goes black. But for an instant, I'm just going to roll. For fun, I'm going to roll all this damage. Because this, this is a homebrew item that Chris created. Um, it's a soul destruction orb. Basically, whenever you, uh, whenever you die, you can cause the crystal to explode and do your level in D6 of force damage uh, to everything within five feet. So, Dion, hey, nice. Dion, you take 69 damage. Does that down you? Yeah. Okay. So but, yes. uh, oh, that's just with arrows, isn't it? That is halved. Yeah. I'm afraid so. This is an explosion of force damage. So, Dion, everything goes black for you. And black, you, you and the minor, you and the Garistro, actually the Garistro uh, with, his, with his quarry dead, seems to nod, sigh, and sort of melt into the ichor that you're used to um, seeing demons melt into when they die. Um, you see a small explosion uh, on the staircase, and you rush over, I guess, to, to look there, you see it's partially collapsed, and lying at the bottom of the pit is Dion's body, heavily beaten, bloodied, and bruised. Um, Where are you again, Dion? I'm a half-orc. What did he just do earlier? Oh, yeah, you can just get back yeah, up, you lazy shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I was going to say, this, I was going to let James finish that's, speaking, yeah, that's, that's, and that's, said... Uh, I, 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 endurance. I, thought, I thought about this. This is why, this is why it's going to happen this way. So, Dion, everything goes black for you but for a moment. And then, as you, as you begin to become aware of your senses, you can feel something on your face, like some sort of mass. Like a, it's a face hugger. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, it's not. It's like a, as, you, as you open your eyes, you see all around you lights, like medical lights. It's, it's strange, just bright, shining lights overhead, and you can vaguely make out 
that you're sort of breathing through like some kind of tube or face mask of some description as you that try to actually move your... sounds very familiar in real life <laughs> as you try to as you try to move your arms you find you can't they're they're so very heavy i want you to roll for me a perception check please perception mhm Oh, okay. Not as bad as I thought it was. Nah. Wonderful. I love it yeah. so much. Well, so, God. your eyes... I thought it was lower than six. No, your, <laughs> eyes, your eyes adjust quite quickly. And you can see you're in some sort of box made of glass. Um, as you look down at your arms, you can see they're not tied down, but you're in this kind of gel-like substance. As as you as you look around, you can see there's the, the lights are coming from beyond the sort of pod you're in, and you can see similar pods uh, set up. You can you can vaguely make out one directly ahead of you of a small red creature, but before you can take in much more than that, you hear from around you. Now tell me, what languages can you speak, please? I can speak celestial. Uh... Goblin and one, uh, Elvish mm-hmm. and Common and obviously and, Orc and Orc. Okay, then you you more feel um, this sort of psychic presence in your mind, um, as if like just channeling through the air, like like you hear you hear whispers on the air. And at first, you you don't seem to be able to understand it, but then as you realize, wait, you do. It's it, you're, you're surprised you didn't know it the whole time. And then you can see these creatures that, that you don't recognize. They're 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 very tall. They're in cloaks, in hoods, uh, but they all seem to be wearing these black and white robes. And they're moving to and fro, and you hear a beeping, a medical sort of beeping. And then you hear one of them say, Master, Subject 4 has regained consciousness. <clears throat> Increase dosage and monitor. Thy will be done. For Extrematron. For Extrematron. And you feel something enter your bloodstream. It's bliss. And you and everything goes black again. And then you cough and you reawake in this crater at the base of the stairs. And as you look around, you can definitely sense being on the ground that this this place is rumbling. This this maze is beginning to crumble. Something is very wrong here. We're going to stay in initiative order. Pizzazz, I need a death save, please. And then Lanmore. Uh-huh. And then we'll, then we'll see what Glack's doing. Come back oh, up. Oh, wonderful Pizzazz. You wake up. You see you're sort of lying on the edge of a smoking crater. <laughs> um, Dion's down I, I there. I fall asleep for one second and look what happens. Dion's down in that crater. He looks rough as all hell. Um... Zaraj is nowhere to be seen. Uh, the Minotaur is nowhere to be seen. Uh, Lanwar is still out for the count. Glack looks bloodied as hell. Stuff my um, potion down my throat. Uh, Lanwar, you succeed. Uh, Glack, uh, what are you doing? Are you just healing Lanwar? Uh, yep, I'm going to shove a potion down his foot. <laughs> okay. All right. Excellent. Max. Lovely. And Near. I'm going to do a... um, Scroll of kill wounds on Dion. Everyone is noticing now that 11. the 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 place you're in is starting to collapse. Bits of rubble, chunks of masonry are beginning to fall from the roof, and you get the sense. Uh, actually, <laughs> Lan, actually, Lanwar, as you sort of regain consciousness, um, over here by where I've placed the Garistro. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see coming out from invisibility is a, is another magic mouth. And uh, a similar raspy voice says, If you're hearing this, you've succeeded. Well done. 
you've exceeded my expectations. But I'm afraid I cannot let this go. Farewell. Good luck. <laughs> and um, it cracks in half and falls off the wall as the wall behind it begins to just collapse in on itself. Um, dust begins to fly up. What is everyone doing? The place uh, is collapsing. Glack is going to run, grab hold of Pizzazz, and then activate his dagger, which has Dimension Door in it, and he's going to get to the doorway. Okay. Um, so that's Glack's turn. one small enough that I can do. So, uh, mm-hmm. Pizzazz, Pizzazz, Pizzazz you're over there this. as well. <laughs> Um, so, uh, that's Glack. Uh, Dion, back to you. And, uh, at the start of your turn, you're just sort of looking around. You've got a ringing in your ears, and then you hear a... Over here! Uh, coming from, like, you're at the base of the stairs. So it's, it's coming from, uh, this direction here, actually. And you look around, and you see... It's like they're both there. And not there, but it's like a it's 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 just like their hand or the corner of their face just sort of poking out from inside this box. It's like the edge it's it's like they're poking their face out and the edge of it is sort of lined in purple. Like they're looking at you through some sort of portal. Dion, get everyone through the back door. Come on! Let's go! And, um... Yeah. Am I uh, coherent enough to you, say this you, to Lanwa? You, you feel you might be going mad. You think you've just seen Junkrat poke his face through a portal in the side of a, a crate? That's, it's, not very, it's not very interesting. But yeah, you can you can call up that you think there might be an exit portal for sure. That or use the head thing. Uh, that's what I mean. But before I do that, uh, I do the whole Luke Skywalker uh, speech in uh, Empire. It's like, Junkrat, is that you? A bit of masonry falls on you. <laughs> <laughs> For your bad joke, take that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can you can get up and move over there. Um, and uh, so. yeah, you you just see the face of an ordinary looking crate all around you. The the upper floor is beginning to collapse over here, especially and around where you you exploded it. Um, you stick your you, you touch the the crate. Um, well, the top of it seems fine anyway. Um, and then you just sort of see a, a little robot hand poke out, but it's it's strange. It's almost ghostly. It's it's like it's made of code. It's it's, it's strange. It's it, yeah. It's weird looking. It sort of pokes itself it's through the side of almost incorporeal, ghost like. Yeah. Um. Sort of pokes its its hand through and beckons you. Um. Through the side of the crate. What do you do? I'd say to Lanwar, uh, there's some kind of exit here I'm going through. I think you should follow too. It seems to be Junkrat that's here. Again? Junkrat? Uh, again? What do you mean? I heard him earlier. Yet more roof begins to fall on you. <laughs> Decisions. <laughs> Thanks. Discussions later. Jumping through portals or fleeing now. I tell him hurry because I'm going through. All right, you dive through the portal. Um, okay. Uh, uh, the rest of you know as well. So Pizzazz, you've just heard from Dion that there's a secret back door. Um, and in mm-hmm. fact, as you get to the door, the corridor outside begins to just sort of give way in that sort of sinkhole kind of way. And it, it's beginning to encroach upon the doors. Uh, but it looks to have stopped for the moment on this room. It looks like this room is built to withstand uh, bomb blasts of some description. 
Pizzazz, your turn. And then Landlord's on deck. Um, going to roll a d4. Uh, look to Glack and say, can you do that again? Nope. Once per day. <laughs> um, I'm out of like nearly all my spells. You can dash. You you don't know how many rounds you oh, have. Possibly a deep. Why have I been? Mm. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All this time I've been moving twenty five. Right, let's. I'm going to pull black onto the broom and fly dash the 100 feet yep. to, the bl- towards the pool. Now that, um, now that Zaraj is gone, the broom does seem to function uh, semi-normally. Mm-hmm. Um, and you both dash for the door. Uh, with the 100 feet, do you make it? No, it'd be 50 feet on the thing. I'd be heading straight, yeah. flying straight yeah. towards them. Yeah, so you fly over the, the crates there, which um, actually these crates just vanish in a sinkhole that's created right there. Uh, and you're right by the portal you can get through next turn. Uh, Landwar, just yourself. Uh, the stair staircase is gone. Um, but, but this lift right here looks to be in decent nick, apart from the bit that uh, Pizzazz disintegrated. Who needs... Who needs- Lifts when you have paths. Head and ah, path, head and path, excellent. Head and path and step through. Okay, yeah, so you, <laughs> you, you, you <laughs> dematerialize 60 feet. Um, and Pizzazz and Glack, you watch as you see um, uh, Lanwar step through and the portal sort of briefly surround him in this purplish sort of energy before he too vanishes. Uh, and you dive through. Um, in a couple of seconds later, just as right behind you, the room collapses into dust. The portal leads into like a tunnel, and it's it's like a, it's a safe sort of area. It's it's like a it's like a void space, really. It's like nothing. Um, it's like a darkness, but it's comforting, like the pretty much the exact opposite of. Um, of what the Sphere of Annihilation was earlier. Ow. And out the other side, there is just the faintest bit of light that grows, you know, it's it's lilac, to be, it's like purple to begin with, and then it grows more lilac, and then it becomes this sort of coppery, tinged purple. And as you head towards it, uh, you soon find yourself um, back uh, at the entranceway to Brightside Towers Adventurer's Retreat. Wow. That portal wasn't there before. Who cast that? I don't know. Um, I, and, I, and, and Dion, it seemed um, to be there junker. is. Dion, there is no one else within within viewpoint of you. There's no junk rat. Yeah, there's, right. there's there's no one around. Adventurer's retreat looks to be um, well, not closed, but it's it's like a not very busy sort of hour. It's, it seems to be very early in the day, like six a.m. maybe. So I don't see anyone perception wise either. No, not with your even even with your massive perception. Like you see Elder Adrak. Um, beginning to sort of open up the bar, uh, they flip the the sign to to open, and they look at you and say, "Ho ho! You boys look like you've seen quite a time. Don't know why I yeah. sound like Lando. <laughs> <laughs> Mando. <laughs> but, but come on in. If, Dion, if you, you look have... like you could Dion do asks a whisper. for a straight strong drink. Dion, if you ever find yourself stealing anyone else's kill, I'm not bailing you out again. No, ah, that sucked. Ah, how? Oh. I didn't know it was his uh, kill. I didn't see him. I need a strong healing spell. Fairness, he was very stealthy. You know, we've got we've got healers here. Uh, pretty much anything that cures what ails you. Uh, what what is ailing you? You look. 
Why does ghosts? You look like you've seen a ghost. I'll use look like you've seen death. I possibly did. I'll use All my right. last fifth level slot to cast <laughs> uh, cure mass cure wounds again, so everyone begins yeah. thirteen hit points. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're able to just spend some time in adventurers retreat you can take a short rest if you wish at the end of uh half an hour you feel kind of queasy uh and your stomach just rumble and you all have to run to the bathroom <laughs> um as apparently the neurotoxin was nothing but a laxative nothing but a lax a, a, a slow acting laxative designed to hinder you during the final fight. Obviously, it didn't work. Yeah, because somebody was too busy dancing. <laughs> yeah. But um, but you gain a short rest. Uh, you're looked over by the mages and the clerics of Adventurer's Retreat. And you're deemed to be a little shell-shocked. Uh, Dion, in particular, you're given like a... You're given a clean bill of health, but I don't know. The, the, Something seems the, off. Yeah, the cleric who, who treats you notes that your eyes seem to be sort of... It's like... It's like there's stardust in them. It's, it's really strange. Mm. Like, uh, just sparkles of something. Like, uh... It's a sign that I have to go into the entertainment business because I have stars in my eyes. That's a terrible pun. <laughs> it truly is. Yes. And and you've just lost an inspiration. <laughs> no, you you haven't really. I'm not cruel. That was a terrible pun, though, man. <laughs> Welcome to um, knowing Neil in real life. <laughs> hey, but as you as you sit there, you're you don't seem to be in any immediate danger. Um. Dion, in fact, you as you sort of examine your bow much later, you notice a, a small pendant tied to the end of it. Um, Do I know it, what this pendant is? It looks to be a black feather. But as Do you I examine recognize? it more closely... Well, it, it's the symbol of the highest ranking hunter in the in the Expert Hunters Guild, which you're in. No, oh, right. yeah, you reckon Zaraj would have had it on him as he as he died, but because it, he wasn't of this world, uh, and and this thing was, it is tinged with copper. It is made so that it knows where to go. Uh, you gain some things, which I'll discuss with you after the session. No, right. Um, but essentially, you you get better at hunting things. Um, and you all gain a, a long rest unless there's anything anyone wishes to discuss or anything like that. Yeah, I'll take the, 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 the night is yours to sit down and just sleep. It's been an exhausting 24 hours. I, I will, I think I would say, Dion, I'm glad you killed him because if you didn't, I was going to, because he really got on my nerves. He was not a nice uh, man. I, I thank everybody that helped sincerely, mm -hmm. and that I'm sorry for any distress that may have been caused or may still be caused. It's fine. We work work together for long enough it's just if someone like that comes along again yeah. just write him an apology note and maybe going a hunt with him some other time or if he just turns out to be a dick like that send the send someone else after him <laughs> <laughs> I hopefully won't have to. Mm. Uh, 
Uh, who is up for coming up to the grove and having a, a drink with the, the, the lands? I'm sure they've been brewing something nice. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Uh, I'm in. Oh. Yeah, yeah. you... You head, yeah, you head up to Willowwood, and um, it's a very different place than it want, than it once was. A year ago, it was glorious, vibrant. It? Yeah, it was vibrant, verdant, and glorious. It seems to have um, a very Mirkwood sort of uh, sort of feel to it. So more foggy and yeah, lots of spiders. Mist, mist cloaks the ground. There is the telltale chittering and sort of yowling of fierce or feral creatures off in the dark reaches of the forest. But you'd notice that the Arcanite uh, rods, the white ones, that sort of shield you from the worse parts of the forest, uh, now have a shimmering sort of barrier between them. Um, guess- you do see uh, an extreme sort of level of darkness further up to the north. So my grove still... Active. Your grove is your grove is still active. It's still there. However, when you arrive, um, one of your lands, we'll say the the bushy one, comes up to you and says, "Oh, excuse me, um, uh, Lanwar Prime. Um, uh, afraid to afraid to say, uh, one of our number uh, was not. Uh, well, we we went off to to do our duty to to cleanse the." The forest, but well, you, perhaps you should see for yourself. Okay. Uh, and he and he leads you. Um, Which one is it? Not tree, land tree. <laughs> it's because he's the one with the communication device. It's not that land tree. Bad. No, it's 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 another one that it's another one of the like twenty you have. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't there a land shrub or something like that? Oh no, land, land shrubs. Bush. Land bush is delivering this. There's five, um, there's five copies of me. The rest are all this t- creatures. Yeah, the <laughs> it's 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 land shrub. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sharp land. No shrub yeah, land. Whatever his name is. <laughs> um, grassland. Gr- yeah, white. It's it's one of those. <laughs> don't don't make me list creatures that I don't know. Um, but yes, uh, go into the family tree. Then you you see, oh. Oh, Dion <laughs> Neil. I I swear to God, stop it. Uh, land stop tree, it. moss, and uh, shrubland, grassland, and bramaland. Yeah, I've definitely no no <laughs> those then. <laughs> I'll I'll get those from you later. Anyway, as you arrive, one of the five creatures you love most in the world, with the annoying names, um, is lying on the ground, unmoving, but like, sort of shivering with just the cold, sort of sweats of of something. As you get closer, you you you're told everyone around you is sort of wearing. Uh, this sort of protective gear, uh, goggles, uh, mask filters, gloves. It's, it's, it's very sort of E.T., you know, towards the end. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got that vibe. This, this land looks very sickly indeed. Uh, all its leaves are gone, or the, the ones that are remained are sort of yellowing and have a kind of black tinge to it. It's, it's not great. What do you do? What? What? Uh, I. This isn't the thing. To, what? I don't know what's going. What's going on? Uh, oh, we 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 don't know. Yeah, we we don't know. I'm afraid. We we we. Uh, uh, Landbush, you know? No, we don't know either. Um, uh, we we know that we know that they went north. They went to. You know, to to do their to do their duty, they they went to uh, man the the wall to guard against the the northern realm. But I don't know something. They uh, Tyrioli brought them back. 
Um, he's gone to check on the goblins. There was some some furor was happening down there earlier. Was this all? Did this was the stuff that? I, did I know about the stuff that was going on with the goblins? Because I'm sure. You um, from the. I'm I'm not time, certain. Time skip. Uh, um, the the goblins are. Because they're coming ill, yes. Yeah. Uh, Some kind of infection. Illness from the um, north. I think so. It's it's like it's like some sort of disease. It's it's spreading through the forest. I I don't know. We we sent word to Willow earlier, but she's not she's not come down. Is Terrilai all right? Stayed... If he brung him back. I'm I'm fine. Uh, comes the voice of the dragon as it sort of flaps overhead and lands beside you. Um, I'm fine, but the goblins are... Well, uh, let's just say they're not looking good. A few more of their number have, have sadly passed in the night. And, well, they came back as hideous spore-infested monstrosities. They had to be locked away and, well, I, I volunteered to destroy the the building, but this is getting out of hand, Lan. Something has to be done sooner or later. Okay. Uh, Preferably sooner. Of the lands here, I want to stop these go the goblins going further up north. I want us to use our spells to grow some fruits <coughs> and things here so we can keep the goblins from the north. We've tried that. The fruits aren't growing as well as they used to. There's something wrong with the earth. Even here? Something in... It's, it's less here, but mm. it's encroaching. Our powers are weakened somewhat. Can't you feel it? I try casting uh, plant growth. Roll a nature check for me. Uh, it after the slightest sort of pause it's definitely not in your magic you feel some resistance in the earth and in the forest itself to grow uh to be able to grow it's like there's some sort of infection like uh, taking part of the nutrients first, like it's being siphoned off somewhere. Mm. But you do manage to get get things to grow. Uh, the lands sort of say, "Well, that's fine. You're you're not from here. We're we're of this forest. We can all feel it." Yes, something needs to be done. The darkening. Is is corrupting everything. I will. I know that we've been planning for other threats, but this seems a more pressing thing. I feel that we need to bolster our strength and plan and try and do something about this now. If we'll, boss, if we'll possible. do everything we can, but. We we can't go north again. The, the the gates are in place. We we can't move past them. We'd need to sneak around them. And well, it, it's not something we really are are able to do. But we'll, we'll we'll defend things as best we can. And and if there's if there's a turn for the worse, we'll we'll quarantine. Well, we'll quarantine the goblins. We'll we'll give them the food. We'll ration them. We'll do what we can for the beasts. But um, do all you can. We'll, we'll we'll try and make sure things don't get any worse, and if they do, we'll call on you. You trust us on that. Oh yeah, you yeah you trust us. You can trust us on that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you can trust me as well. Although I am very very worried about what happens next, Willow. I've not seen her in months. She used to walk with me in the woods. She walks no more. This is indeed worrying for me too. 
we will do is what we can as soon as we can. Mm. Uh, you do all gain the benefits. It was a of benefits of a long rest. Um, either here in the forest or in your own beds, there is some very strong berries and ales made from the forest. They're slightly bitter, but they've been offset by the amount of sort of natural sweetness that the the lands have added. And you you gain a long rest. It's exhausting. <laughs> You're all haunted as well that night. Uh, well, obviously not by ghosts. Well, one of you is. Um, Dion, you, you keep on seeing uh, those tall figures in the cloaks and the hoods moving around outside your tank, your pod. You, you don't know. And the feeling of it... both, both weightlessness and heaviness in your arms it's something you won't forget and you wake up more than once would, in a sweat would dion have said anything about that whilst we were like essentially drinking mm, maybe he was still digesting it but he didn't mm. say anything at the time so i'm assuming not as time's passed um glack you still sort of feel this apprehension in the back of your mind. Bragg is still missing. He's he's not turned up at the gym in months. And you're starting to get worried now. I know it's I know it's not in your nature to question why, but you you do feel worried. Like you feel a disturbance in the monk force. <laughs> Don't want to use too many. <laughs> Too many uh, copyrighted things in one session, or we'll get closed down. Uh, Lan, you wouldn't you it, begin wouldn't to be disturbance in the weave. You feel yes, you feel a disturbance in the weave. Um, Lan, there's something, something dark, just coming. You can feel it. Whatever happens, it, something is coming. Something dark and deadly and dangerous. And after today, you. You feel like it might only get worse. I need to and <laughs> yeah. I just I, start thinking to myself and talking. This is why you're sleeping. This is why you're sleeping. This, yeah. These are your dreams. Uh, and Pizzazz. Prepare, prepare. This, and Pizzazz, Pizzazz, your greatest dream is so close at hand. After today, after all the necrotic damage you've, you were inured to, after seeing that undead Gerestra, after seeing things that shouldn't be possible, a revenant Gerestra, that shouldn't be possible. You want to know more. You want to know that knowledge. Yours is, yours is a good dream. It's like a determined sort of <laughs> vision going forward. But it's like... If everyone wakes up, oh, I had a really bad nightmare. Really? Oh, I had a really good dream. Oh, but at the same time, it feels so far out of your reach. Mm -hmm. still and as you wake up in the morning all sort of grumbling having various stages of rest or unrest ready for whatever your next challenge might be that's where we're going to pick up next time mm -hmm. uh, with uh, I can exclusively reveal it's going to be Glax epilogue mm. <laughs> the search for brag um, yep. but thank you all very much for listening and watching thank you all guys very much for playing and thank until you. and until next time uh, always remember folks at home that uh, it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from it only matters is the, the only thing that matters is you don't go around stealing other people's kills. It's just... <laughs> and, and wash and your bloody hands. And wash your hands. There will be consequences later, believe me. Be awesome to each other. Wash and your hands, night. wear a mask. See ya. Oh, just wear a mask. <laughs> Bye. Good night, everyone. I stay at distance. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.